Alright, we are back for some more Hudless Permadeath X rated series. X class modules only. Everything Hudless. And we're doing rather well. Oh, I thought so. The only problem is, I've had a little bit of a mishap. Let me get my HUD turned up. Hello, Caroline, welcome. Yeah, the good news is we're doing well. Bad news is I forgot to charge my ship. Is that still true? Yep, yeah, launch first is not charged. And I had no idea where I left my ship. I can't remember if I walked a long way away or a short way away. I also don't know very much about this planet other than that it's got Beautiful butterflies. Oh, music has stopped. Caroline is first. Well done, Caroline. Let me get music back. Definitely need some music on a planet like this. Now, I'm hoping I've been a tad fortunate and not put myself on an extreme planet. It is a toxic planet. So... The only options I've got is to explore on foot until we find a way to summon my ship. Do I have a navigator? I do. Do I have stuff for survival? I do. So we should be able to stay alive. Revenge is second. Welcome, revenge. It's a bit of a big no-no, though, to lose my ship when I'm playing Hudless. What? An idiot. <laughs> How did I do that? Must be the day for butterflies. Do you like these ones? Green and yellow. I saw your ones. I can't remember if I commented. They were very beautiful. Right, so we need to find... Either I need to randomly find my ship. Or I need to find a building with an ability to summon my ship. Try I quickly scout around see if I can spot it? Who knows, I might be lucky. There's another bird there. I I was briefly watching back one of my old streams yesterday, another time when I lost my ship. And I was looking around in the camera like this. And I oblivious, I passed it like a couple of times. Is that my ship? That's my ship, isn't it? <gasps> There's my ship. We could find that. We could totally find that. On top of a hill. I don't know which angle. Let's work out. Right, so I'm straight now. But basically, I, I saw myself panning past my ship multiple times and not noticing it. <laughs> kind of funny. Right, it's there. It's not very far off that direction. Is that right? Up and to the right. Let's have a look. Up and to the right up and to the right. So this direction. Is that right? Yeah, I found my ship. Okay, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> I had no idea. I couldn't remember how far I'd walked. It's not the kind of thing you normally remember is to make sure that your ship is fully charged, but even I only have one ship and I can't see where my ship is located. It's best not to lose it. So let me go back to it and at least charge it up so that we could summon it. Even if we do go for a hike. There she is. There's my baby. Oh look, here's the salvage data I have already collected. And I must have visited this thing as well. Retracing old steps. Ah, well this isn't as hard as I imagined. As I was loading up, I was having fears about this one being an extreme planet that I hadn't yet realized, and two, not having any ability to summon my ship. And who knows how frequent buildings are on this planet. I could have had to hike mountains and mountains. It would have been quite the adventure, actually, but hey, better be safe. Let's charge this thing up, shall we? Ugh, oh, 
I need to remember not to leave this uncharged. It's so hard though. I have basically have to remember to charge it every time. Right, I'm gonna fly somewhere. How are we doing with the creatures? Should we try and finish it? We got another rare ground. Ah, oh, it's the rare underwater. Hmm. Oh look, incoming storm. I dodged the storm by the skin of my chinny chin chin. Did I see a building? It's interesting how quickly I would have found a building if I was forced to just do it on foot. I'm not seeing any buildings close. This would have taken like an hour to traverse this mountain. This would not have been a pleasant situation if I didn't find my ship. <laughs> Look, extreme storm as well. I think you could say I'm a little bit lucky. Now I was wondering about collecting fungal mode to make some acid, but it seems I need an awful lot and the acid isn't worth all that much. So I think I came to the conclusion that no. Wow, there's still no building. I would have been so screwed. Oh, I'm glad I looked for it in photo mode now. Can you imagine if I set off on a trek? Oh look, there's a building. It probably would have taken me like over two hours to walk here and who knows if I would have found it. <laughs> Oof. Now this is a chance to be a crash ship. Perhaps we should try and get a crash ship to reward us for this stressful situation that we almost had. Get some extra nav data. So is this an extreme storm? What's happening to my hazard protection? It's going down. It's not going down super fast, so I think it's not a super, super bad storm. Right, let's go have a look. If I could find a nice, big, crashed hauler, that would really help with my financial woes. I don't have much money. Yesterday, I got offered a S-Class freighter for 23 million. I couldn't afford it. I got offered twice an S-Class exotic with 20 slots for 12 million. I couldn't afford it. We need money. Distress coordinates discovered. Right, let's go to space and see if we can lock onto them and hope it's a big crash ship worth lots of money. My fear is it's going to be a crash ship that excites me and then it's an NPC. Or, I don't know if even worse, freighter. Pretty bad. Right, let's go try and do that, shall we? Oh, before I do that, let's grab these nanites. I must remember to always grab nanites, we need them so badly. I feel like I need nanites much more in this playthrough than any other playthrough, given that we can only buy X-Class modules and they're so dang expensive. And you need so many of them. It's not like I just buy a set of, like, I don't know, 50 modules. No, 50 modules and only two of them will be any good. Right, down to the left, should be over here somewhere, this. There it is. Good, very good. Probably go and spend these at some, some point. I must be collecting a fair few by now. How many do we have? How are we doing with space? Get rid of this silicate powder. Don't want to carry that around. We're still going to need a load of suit slots as well, isn't it? We'll slowly get those. Right, let's see if we can lock onto this crash ship. You know what I want? A really juicy hauler. Not to keep, but to salvage. Maybe I could double my money. What do you reckon? 4.6 million? Is it possible to find a ship that that's good? Right, let's see if we can lock on to... Oh, did it lock on then? Let's have a look. Nope. Oh, I think that's locking onto something. Let's have a look. Don't be a freighter. Don't be a freighter. I don't think there should be any other markers on this. Oh no! Did I build a save beacon? Oh crap. I might have built a save beacon and not picked it up. That's a good point actually. I can actually mark stuff with save beacons and lock onto it. Oh crap. I'm sure it locked onto something. 
Is there a save beacon here? Hmm. It's a ruin. There's no way I locked onto a ruin, is there? How did I... What did it lock onto? Hmm. Really dark and stormy. There's no way I would have had a lock onto a ruin, is there? I've not done anything else on this planet. Some damaged machinery there. Maybe it didn't lock on. Maybe I just thought it locked on. It felt really like it locked on to something. Well, I guess I do it again. Certainly didn't see a crash ship there. Ah, this can be a bit hard when you're trying to lock onto stuff and not know what it is or where it is. Try again. Go a bit further out. That's another thing we could probably do with getting a ship upgrade. This ship's beautiful, but it's rather tiny. Right. Oh, something up there. Is it locking? I can't tell. It's definitely pulling me in. Right, I'll try this one. Make sure my launch thrusters are constantly charged. Is there something, isn't there a tech you can buy that automatically charges up your launch thrusters? Oh, this feels like it's definitely taking me somewhere. It took me round the planet and taking me down. Let's have a look. Do I have a save bike beacon in my inventory? This is what... I, oh no, I do. I must have picked it up. Oh shoot, don't go off course. Don't go off course. I hope I didn't go off course. Don't see a freighter. Hmm. What is going on? This does not seem like anything. Wait, let me do this for you. Sometimes if I could see, if I was really close to a crashed ship, I'd see a little red dot, but you've got to be like right on it. I'm not seeing it. Where the hell did it lock on to? There's the salvage data. I might just land for that, to be honest. Floating salvage data. Hmm. Not normally this difficult. I could have swore it locked on to something. I can't see that floating salvage data. Where the hell did it go? I flew over it. There it is. I saw that from sp <laughs> from my ship. <laughs> and I'm greedy. I want it. Money, nanites, tech. Give it to me. Thank you. Let's get these nanites as well. I landed just for this. That's how much it's worth to me at the moment. Right. Now, is there any chance that I actually did fly over a fresh ship? I just didn't notice. I'm not seeing anything. No, I think I'm going to go try it again. I don't know what I locked onto. Wait. <laughs> I always lose my orientation. Where was my ship? Over that way. This way. It's so easy to get lost. Right, let me try this again. I must be able to do it. I swore it locked onto something, though. It really felt like it tugged me in. Let me go even further out. I wonder if being in this view helps me to lock on any better. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Feels like that locked onto something then. You see how it just brings the nose in a certain direction. 
I'm going straight on. I think I'm going back to the exact same location I was just at. But I'm not going to touch it. I'm not. I'm just going to let it take me naturally in. I say that, but then it goes really slow. We're going at a right angle now, so I surely can't overshoot it. Right, accelerate. My speed is going slower and slower. You see the speed monitor. Now I'm down at 55 U per second. 48, 46, 45. I'm going slower and slower the closer I get. Hmm. I should just be able to go down, isn't it? Let me just speed this up a little bit. Hello, Scribble. Scribble's been on Discord looking over Caroline's post. Very good. Come on. Where the hell is it taking me? What? Again, it feels like I'm nowhere. Nothing. Wait, I see a red dot. I see a red dot. There is a crash ship here. You see on my map now. Red dots. So it should be just ahead of me. What? No, what's going on? Is there a red dot in space? Hmm, something's a bit weird. Here it is. How was I so off course? What? This, this was miles from where it took me. Not miles, but... I must have somehow slightly knocked myself off course. Can I pick you up? B-class shuttle, I can. It's not worth that much, but... Whatever, I'm taking it. <laughs> I need the money, desperately. Alright, let's take this one. It's not a keeper, that's for sure. Right. Do I have everything I need? I, I don't know. Oh, look, the launch thrusters are already repaired. That's a bit of luck. Very good. Right, let's take this back and scrap it, shall we? Right, let's see if we can find the space station somehow. Now, I heard a comment the other day. I can't remember exactly what I heard. But somebody said that shuttles have got a better HUD inside. Is that true? Are we seeing any extra information here? I don't feel that I'm seeing anything particularly useful. Because if a shuttle had extra information than you get from other ships, I totally would use one. I mean, I guess you get a bit of a wider view of your cockpit. Ooh, I'm getting scanned by pirates, but too late. They're too slow. Miles, of course. Are there miles in England? There are. I presume you use miles in the States as well, don't you? I'm not sure Mars is good though. I, I really feel Imperial units are a more universal unit. But yes, where do you think America got miles from? It's the good old UK. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I totally made that up, but it probably is true. Somebody can Google it. Right, I presume I've collected this before. Right, so I need a load of slots to scrap this. Do I have enough? No, I don't. Oh, God. What can I get rid of? Hmm. Let me get rid of this stuff as well. Oh, I don't need that, really, do I? Oh, God. I just took an extra thing. Right, this is a bit awkward. What, what, what do I actually get rid of? I can refine this to carbon. Not that that's particularly useful, is it? I've got loads of carbon already. Hmm. I've already got all this carbon. What can I get rid of now? Oh my god. Maybe if I make more metal plating? That didn't help. I can get rid of this little speck of ferrite dust. I've got this... Oh, paraffinium. Yeah, that can go in the high capacity. Anything else go in here? Oxygen. Ooh. I can come here. Surely there's something I can put there. There we go. This this can go in the high capacity. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could delete this. I want this. What else could I delete? Atlas Pass. Have we got any use out of Atlas Pass? I feel not. I think I'd rather have a suit slot, to be honest. You can always make it again, I guess. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That might be enough, let's try. Imperial and metric cause a lot of delicious confusion. <laughs> yeah. Right. What? 500,000? That's not very much. I was hoping to get a little bit more. I should know, it's usually a third, isn't it? Is that right? Usually a third of whatever the price is worth? I think so. Main thing is, I get some B modules. I didn't get one of the ship slots. Ah, oh, dang it, the ship slots are really good as well. Let's sell these things. Purchase and sell. We've got so many nanites, I can't wait to find an NPC. I'm going to buy so many upgrades from him. But we've yet to find one. Let me sell the rest of these bits and bobs. Question is, do I go back to that planet to find the fish? Probably not. I think we're done with that planet for now. Do I get rid of this chlorine? Probably. Who needs chlorine? Sometimes I need these wiring loops. So I'll keep that for now. Maybe I should buy some more, actually. Just in case we come across an upgrade we need. I'll buy a stack of them. Right. Anything else? Any more for any more? Probably not. Having said that, how's our sodium? Uh, I could refine some sodium. Oh. Let me put this back. I can max out my sodium nitrate and then top up my sodium again. That's what we'll do. Buy a little bit more sodium. I need this if I get into ship battles to charge up my shields. I think at the moment the only thing I'm really scared of is pirates. Because my ship is pathetic. And who knows how long we'll... until we get some upgrades. To be honest, I would rather get a new ship before I get upgrades because I've got no space to put the upgrades anyway. Ooh, I can use the Pilgrim for storage now as well. That's another thing, we can't actually install upgrades. Oh, I could do this one. Install upgrades in the Pilgrim. Apparently there's no X-Class modules for, for the Exocraft, which is a bit... Oh, look at that Explorer. No. That looked like a nice one. Right. So what do we do? What, what's the plan? When I lo loaded up, I thought I was going to be stuck on that planet for ages, but we've managed to escape it fairly quick. Oh, I've got to sell this. 10,000 units, not even worth it. Let's just get rid of it. Oh, oxygen. Do I need more oxygen? I do. Let me get some oxygen. So, what, what do you guys reckon? What should we do? Do we go to a new system totally? Do we explore planets here? Do I go back to one of my old planets to try and finish the zoology and collect rock pods and things? What do we do next? I need money as well. I could visit the Indian farm. That would be a million and a half units. What did I say? Oxygen, didn't I? Let's just get another stack of oxygen. Actually, maybe I should visit my base and deposit some of this stuff, because I don't need this much carbon on me. And I should probably visit the Nexus and spend these salvage data as well, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. We'll go to storage, we'll go to the Indian farm, we'll go to the Nexus, and then we'll go explore. Oh god, it's I've got this bug again, it's not letting me teleport here. That is such a weird bug. Good job I made a, my own base next to it. Now I have to say, and I, I won't apologise for it, but it's of course going to be the case that a playstyle like this, Hudless, is a much more slower pace. Because you can't really grind things out super quickly. So I just have to accept that this will be a, a long process of slow improvement. 
but we'll get up to lots of cool adventures. Wouldn't mind finding some more random buried treasures. Actually, maybe I should go excavating treasures just to get my. Right, there's the arrow. There's the base. I'm glad I built that arrow. It helps me orientate. Right, so I'm going to deposit a load of stuff at my storage so we don't have to keep carrying it everywhere. Then go pick up the Indium, which isn't very much. The Indium palm's almost as small as you can make one. But it's about a million units every time, a million and a half units. So I guess I should keep collecting it, even we're so strapped for cash. Right, what did I say? Deposit some of this stuff. Let's get some of this carbon here so we don't carry all of it around with us. That should be enough for now, isn't it? Do I actually have any in my high capacity? Got condensed carbon here, so let's put that in the high capacity. What else do I have? I've probably got too much karatic metal on me, so let's store that as well. Put this in the high capacity. I guess we put the oxygen there as well. Oh look, we got two of them. Right. So I guess I put this condensed karatic metal as well. Oh, we got big reserves of that. That's nice. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Let's leave that here. And how on earth have I got a ship upgrade? Let me put that here. Take that. I think I'll keep hold of this dihydrogen. Interestingly, we don't have a stack of pure ferrite. Or do we? Oh god, ferrite dust. We're short on ferrite dust. I think we're going to have to buy some of that. Fair enough. What's in this one? Nothing of note. Is there anything else I can drop off here? Hmm. I probably want to keep the repair kits, don't I? Or maybe I store them for now. I think for the time being, we don't need them. Right. Let's visit the farm. Oh. Say that, and then I fall in the hole. Which one was it? Other bases. And it's this farm here. Where's the other farm? The other farm's not picked up. You know, the other thing we could do is we could go visit some of these other bases that we've not done. That, that's probably a good thing to do. So what did I say? I say I need to visit the Nexus, I need to get some ferric dust, and I guess we can visit those bases, why not? What if we find another really cool base? I might be missing brilliant utility. I can't imagine what else somebody might have built though. How are you guys all doing today, anyway? You got some No Man's Sky playing time? I only have time for one stream today because I'm at work tonight. So, this will be the one stream for the day. Right, made it to the Indian farm. Do I have enough room? Some room. Let's see how much I can pick up. 750. Oh god. What have I done? I didn't bring much, enough room. Get rid of this little trickle. Did I get rid of the fungal mold? Yeah, let's get rid of the fungal mold. God, did I really not bring enough room? Oh, this is... Oh, I meant to put that in the storage. Dang it. Get rid of this little trickle of oxygen. Little trickle of... Tell you what, we'll get rid of the ferrite dust and we'll go buy some ferrite dust. Right, let's see how much else we can take. Right, we almost got all of it. We're, we're short 500. Is there anything I can get rid of? 50 nanites. Do I sacrifice 50 nanites? Even that's not enough. Oh my god. What have I done? Is there anything else I can just... Metal plating. That's really cheap, isn't it? Let's get rid of the metal plating. I'll buy that from the space station. That's a good idea. There we go. Right. Let's go teleport to a space station and settle all of this. We 
each space station. It doesn't really matter, does it? Any space station will do. In playing good, in the process of completing discoveries in a new favourite system. I was thinking about that. I should totally load up my other save and go visit your new white planet. I'm so invested into this playthrough at the moment though. I, I'm kind of enjoying this headless journey. It's 8.30pm here, so time for a nice evening stroll in Hudless Permadeath. Ah, have you started playing Hudless as well? How are you liking it? Do you do that much yourself? Or have you feel inspired for some reason? Right, a million and a half units. I can at least do that every day. Not much, but it's something. Right, what did we say? We need to buy my ferret desk back. Let's get a big, nice, well... A stack of it at least. Get a nice 500 round number. Be more, be more. And the metal plating. Let me get some metal plating. We're using that quite a lot. I'll just get 10. Anything else we need? Gold, chromatic metal, platinum. I kind of have all of that, don't I? Why do I still feel like I just don't have room? Right, we're going to get rid of these salvage data. Or oh, I can get rid of this shield module. Let's do that whilst we're here. Not here, only 6.30 a.m. Still cracking eyelids. It's 12.39 here. Midday. Well, coming up to one. Coming up to lunchtime, I guess. Although it's... I only woke up a little while ago. Given that I'm working all night. I should really be sleeping a bit longer, but I wasn't sleepy, so... Night's going to be interesting. No, I live vicariously through you, but must say I'm tempted. <laughs> it's, it's good fun. Try it from the beginning. Like it, It's so... That new start are, are fun anyway. But to have to force yourself to... I don't know. I mean, in this playthrough, we found a portal before I managed to get a hyperdrive. And our first journey out into another system was portaling. Just you'd never do that without doing something mad like this. Right, Nexus, let's go get rid of the salvage data. I want to get the nutrient processor, that's for sure, because I might start cooking something to try and get nanites, because we're going to need so many nanites. I want to find a simple recipe of something advanced that will give me the max amount of nanites that that guy gives me, but I, I don't know. Does anybody have any good tips for that? Alex can have all the Huddlers for himself. I'm perfectly okay with that. <laughs> I just enjoy it, to be honest. And it, it brings up these really funky moments. I put a picture on the Discord yesterday, and it just kind of exemplifies it of a ruin totally excavated, because that's the only way for me to find all the all the keys and stuff. But it's just like, you'd never do that unless you're playing Huddlers. And it was so fun as well. Right, what did I come here for? To sell my salvage data, isn't it? How many do I have? Got a good few. I think it was 10 for the nutrient processor, so that's going to spend the bulk of it. I don't know what else I want, actually. Probably have a look. I don't know what to do about Exocraft upgrades in this playthrough, given we're supposed to be only using X-Class modules, but apparently they don't have any. Right, what was it I said? Nutrient processor? Hmm. Whoa, mineral extractor? No, I don't want that. That's way too expensive. Where is it? Ooh, maybe I need one of these things as well. Oh, my submarine. I need that. Oh, I'm getting that. That'll be super useful. Submarine, please. So I need to actually go underwater and get some crystal sulfide. That's going to be a bit of an adventure. So that's one task we need to do. <gasps> Summoning station. What does this work? Why is this so unstable plasma? I don't want to be building that all the time. Nah, forget about that. What? Oh, no, I've got that one, isn't it? What did the other thing I said? I said the nutrient processor. That must be here somewhere. Where is it? This one. That's another 10. Do I want that yet? Is there anything else I would rather have? 
trade terminal. That would be useful. Oh no, it's not. Um, I was thinking I could build it at the storage base, but I can't because it's not my base. Hmm. I don't really need this yet because I'm using somebody else's storage. I don't need the refining yet. Okay, I'll get the nutrient processor. So, I can start collecting some nutrients, I guess. So I've got another six. What can I get for six? If I do this, then I could access my storage wherever. Maybe that's good. Is that a good thing? Problem is you have to power it every time. How useful is it to access my storage wherever? It's fairly useful, but it's also really easy just to teleport, isn't it? So, not that useful. Anything else I can afford? Deep water chamber. Ooh. How useful is that? Saves my bacon. No. No, it doesn't really, does it? That's not very useful. Anything else? Chair? I don't want to be carrying star silk, really. Lights. Ooh, lights. I'm not planning to build very much yet. It's a bit too early to be building. I'm rather using other people's buildings. Plants? Nah. I don't want to farm. Do I want to farm? Headless farm? Mm. I'll think about it. Not yet. Too early. I want to spend these last six. I don't want to come here. Oh, should I just buy, start buying this? I feel bad because I, I'm, I'm already using... Is there nothing else I can get? Hmm. I can't see anything else that I really, really need. Would I save up for something of this? Eventually the Colossus would be nice just for storage. Only cost eight. Maybe I save it for the Colossus. I could use that as my backup storage. That could be useful. Okay, I'll save the six. I'll save it for the Colossus next time. It's a shame, we're too short. Oh well. Right, so what did we say? We said we could go visit other people's bases. Ooh, teleport. Was there something else I needed to do? We got the ferrite dust. We've spent the salvage data. We've got a load more slots going. Can I organize this somehow? Not really. Why have I got the hazmats over here? I don't know what I'm doing here. We've got a reasonable amount of space, haven't we? So let's go try and visit some of these other people's bases that we've not visited yet. See if there's anything that is, is useful. I can't think of anything else that would be useful. We've, we've kind of got what we need. We've got a refiner base. We've got a storage base. Unless there's a better Indian farm, that would be useful. Right, your base is... Wait, what? Why don't I see the other people's bases? Hmm. Maybe I need to go back to that system with, I was in. Featured. Oh, I could go to a featured base. <gasps> Featured base. What if somebody's built something really useful? What's this? Community research facility. Hmm. Looks like an aesthetic base, doesn't it? We go visit. Whoa, what's this? Vaporwave Bay Resort. We go to all of these. Will these be here when I come back? These are always here, aren't they? Let's try this one. Vaporwave Bay Resort. Wow. Maybe I'll have to put a base next to it so I can always come back. Is this cheating? Going to community highlight bases? Not really cheating, is it? I've got access to it. Wow, what if it's a really... Maybe it should be a pretty base that we could have as our vacation if we're feeling a bit down in the dumps. Oh, I'm excited now. The other thing is, I could teleport straight back to the Nexus as well. I like Nexus travel. What galaxies? They change. Hmm. You think I'm going to another galaxy now? <gasps> what if I'm in another galaxy? How do I know? Oh, look, there's a shop. 
That's useful. Why can't I access it? Uh, oh, there we go. Extreme Hazard Planet. That doesn't sound good. Oh, brilliant. Right, anything I need? There's not very much here, really, is there? Well, take the magnetized ferrite. Sometimes I need that. Right, that's not particularly useful. Ooh, is that carbon? It is. Might as well take that. Don't really need it, but it's here. I'm taking it. I've got hazmat gloves now. I can actually pick up things. Feels good. Like, why is it so... Got a bit of a... A bit of a weird... Oh, my God. I'm on one of these planets with... This obnoxious filter. I'm slightly worried. How bad is the hazards here? How do I tell? Well, only one way to find out, I guess. And always go in the building. Right, let's have a look at this from above, shall we? Oh, look! It's a beautiful kind of resort base. I'm not sure I would have chosen a planet like this, but I suppose it's got a unique vibe to it. It's rather beautiful, doesn't it? We're going to have to explore this one. We've got a little statue here. Feels like it's not loaded in properly. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Maybe it's not loaded in yet. It's still loading in. Right, so how... Oh my god, there's lightning. Ooh, can I survive a lightning strike? My hazard protection doesn't seem to be going down, is it? Am I protected? Feels a bit weird. Oh no, it is going down. Oh god. It's going down fast. <laughs> oh god. Am I protected in here? Am I protected now? Yeah, I'm protected in here. Oof. Who builds a base on an extreme planet? That's a bit scary. I don't have any hazard protection. A nice little aquarium here. Why do, why do they build such a beautiful base on a storm world like this? Goodness me. The question is, do, do I want to come here again? I mean, it's a nice little resort, isn't it? Can I sit on this thing? I can. <laughs> ah, so it's a peaceful location area, uh, vacation area, although do I really want to have a vacation in a stormy hellhole? It's a nice resort. I wonder, do these plants give me anything? Whoa! You know when you're taking damage, when you hear that stormy noise? Get back here. A nice bar here. Oh, how do you get that floating robot? I didn't even know you could build something like that. That's kind of cool. This bar looks really cool, actually, doesn't it? Look at that. I've got no idea how they built this. Are these little items you can build? Abandoned object. Is that something from the derelict freighters, maybe? That looks just really aesthetic, doesn't it? How cool is that? This storm is never going to end, is it? What is that? What is that? And why is it there? Does it do anything? God, I can only stand outside for like a couple of seconds at a time. I was wondering whether I should go put another base, my own base here, but I don't think I could get far enough to do it. There's a landing pad here. Some of my ship. What a beautiful base, though, I have to say. I'm not sure I would have chosen this filter, though, because you can't really... Oh, let's have a look without the filter, see what it looks like. Oh, wow. See, without the filter, it looks way better. Doesn't it? Let's take a picture. Hudless base visit. How cool is that? I'm not seeing much in the way of utility here. Is that a nutrient processor? No way! It is! <laughs> That's got a funky colour to it. Right. 
So, what's down here? Just a glass floor. There's something down there. Stairs going that way. How do I get down there? Stairs going up, stairs going down. This is back at the bar again. Hmm. Dare I go in the water? I needed something from the water. What was it? What did I need for that Nautilin on my submarine? Let me have a quick look. Do I have it here? Construction parts. Will it be in this one? I want my exocraft bay. I don't understand why it shows me absolutely everything. That seems a bit weird. Shouldn't it only show stuff that I've actually unlocked? Is there all the... Like, why are some stuff missing? I don't understand. You've got almost every... Ah, I wonder if it's across all my saves. Is that a possibility? That is weird. So I'm missing a load of stuff on my... Even on my main saves. Is that potentially true? That would be interesting. And if it does this, and it shares across the save, then why on earth can't we have Quicksilver shared across the save? How many decals I'm missing? Those are all the tainted metal ones that I can't afford. Right. Doesn't seem to have my... Oh, constructed technology. Is this the one? Maybe this one. There we go. Nautilin chamber. So I need crystal sulfide and salt. I wonder if I could just nab some crystal sulfide whilst I'm near this base. Can you see any anywhere? Dare I go in the water? Do I take hazard protection damage in the water? But there's some. Is that crystal sulfide? That's crystal sulfide, isn't it? I need to be really careful. I don't have any hazard protection here. One, two, isn't there usually three? Go away, go away. Go back up, go back up. God knows if I'm taking damage. I'm scared. <laughs> How many did it say I needed? Was it four? Dang it, I didn't pay attention. Let's have a quick look. When did I get the one? I got three, didn't I? Ah, oh, no. Not enough. It'd say four, didn't it? Four. Now, what I need to do, I want to have enough just to build the submarine once, and then... I just always need to remember to salvage the, the thing. Look, there's fish there. Isn't it cool that I can see the fish from up here? That is, I like that. Oh, there's another fish. I look like a flying fish. Did you see that? Where does it go? These little ones. I love this. I love seeing the fish from the building here in the water. Right. I need to find another crystal sulfide somewhere. I need some salt as well. What What is salt? Is that like cytophosphate, this one, isn't it? Give it to, oh, what did I get? Cytophosphate. Do I need that for anything? Is there a way I can tell what's salt? Let's have a look. And buy salt, I suppose. Salt, this is salt. I need a hundred salt. Give me a hundred salt. Is it even mining? What the hell? It feels a bit weird. It feels like my mining laser is not actually reaching it. God, what's happening? I'm getting something. Am I really not destroying it? What the hell? I got three salt. <laughs> I need a hundred salt. Am I taking damage? Let's go in. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't mining from there. Take some more. I don't know how much oxygen I, I, I can actually dare use, so I need to dip in and out of the water for now. Oh my god, these things. <gasps> Killer. Jellyfish. Go away. <laughs> Did I actually take damage then? Felt like I took damage. How much salt did we get? We got 100 salt, so I need one more crystal sulfide. It is a great building, isn't it? Do I keep this base in my... Like, I could build a base on this planet so I can always come here. It's part of our adventure. I guess we could do that, couldn't we? The other thing is, I want to go check what galaxy this is. Is there a chance I've somehow managed to get to another galaxy by teleporting to this base? That would be funny. Right, let's go. I need to go for another deeper swim. I need to find more crystal sulfide. 
can't actually see any. What did I just take damage from? I just took damage from something. What the hell? <gasps> Those jellyfish, they're still coming after me. That's just not on. <laughs> run away, run. I don't know how much damage they do, actually. I think they do quite a bit of damage normally. I do have a shield, X-Class shield module, but it's only one. Ooh, proto rollers. I scan you. Ooh, I got him. I hope there's more water here. I need one crystal sulfide. I need to be a bit careful because this has extreme storms. And if it starts storming, I'm kind of... I can always dig a hole. Hmm. Is there any crystal sulfide here somewhere? This is annoying. Can I see any? Oh, look, there's beavers. That's kind of cool. Hey, Alex, that is Isentam activated Indian planet. How do you know it's Isentam? Did I miss something? Oh, shoot, it's storming. <laughs> dig a hole. Let me in. Why is it not letting me dig? Dig, dig, dig. What the hell is going on? Why can't I dig? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why can't I dig? It's not let me dig on this bloody mountain. Let me dig underwater. No, I can't dig underwater. What am I talking about? I don't have under... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a disaster. I can't dig. I'm going to get struck by lightning as well. Let me dig, you damn it. What is wrong with this planet? I still can't dig. <laughs> I hope I brought enough batteries with me. Oh, let's see if I can get back to the resort. This is a nightmare. Can I build? I don't think my pillar room even protects me. Can I build? I can't even build anything. This is a... What have I done? I'm trying to kill myself here. Run. Oh my god, I'm taking damage. Can I seriously not dig in this damn planet? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a fool. I thought I could just dig myself out of a storm. Who would have thought I couldn't dig on a mountain? This actual cave. What? Why is my we weapon not working? Is it not charged or something? It is charged. What? What? What is going on? Why can't I dig? Oh, I'm at a bloody base. I'm at a base. No. <laughs> I'm at somebody else's base, so I can't dig. That's just not fair. Right, let's get into the base. Ooh. Let me inside. Oof, 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 oof. Oh dear, that was way too intense. I thought I could dig, but of course, I'm too close to their base. So I can't dig. <gasps> nip, nip. Oh, I'll take that. I can't pick it up. Why not? I've got hazmat gloves. What do you need to pick up nip, nip? Why can't I pick up nip, nip? What? Why can't I pick up nip, nip? It's, it's giving me like the error that I can't pick up. What? Oh God, what's going on? Has he got some protection here, so I can't steal stuff from his base, perhaps? No such thing, is there? Why can I not pick up this nickmit? I'm really curious what error message it's giving me. I might have to turn the hub on just to, just to find out. You've been there. You've got a base on one of the planets. You've got a base on one of the planets in this system. Wait a second, though. Are you on, are you on PC? How do you know? So, are you telling me one of the planets in the system has an Indian farm? Is that what you're saying? How sure are you? I could go into space and try and find it in Hudless. Can I lock onto other player bases? I'm not 100% sure I can actually. But what, what error is it giving me that I can't pick up Nip Nip? I thought I would just need the hazmat glove. 
Does anybody know? It's kind of really frustrating me right now. Do I turn the HUD on just to find out why it won't let me pick it up? You can't portal to another galaxy, can you? I just, it's because I went to a random community base. So you're telling me in PC Permadeath, in this system, you've got an Indian farm. Oh my god, I might be able to find it. I don't know if I can lock onto it. I'll be able to teleport to it. From, is there a teleport here? It will let me teleport to nearby bases. Why can I not pick up? <laughs> this is annoying me. This planet is way too stormy. Hmm. There must be a reason that I can't pick it up. I've got plenty of space. I've got hazmat. Are they not charged or something? Like, Do they need to be charged? I don't know. It's just not letting me pick it up. That's really annoying. I really wanted Nip Nip. Right, from the Nexus. Yes, I don't know if it's cheating. It's slightly cheating. No, it's not really cheating. I've got access to the Nexus now. I've progressed this headless save so much. I've got access to Nexus community bases. Might as well use them. Right. Does anybody know why I cannot pick up Nit Nit? Do I turn the HUD on just to satisfy our curiosity? Or is it too much cheaty? What do you guys reckon? Kind of curious. I will try and visit Lava's base. Now, theoretically, I think if I manage to find a space station here or a teleport here, it will let me teleport to nearby bases. But you cannot access the place until you walk away and back. Wait, what? You cannot access the place until you walk away and back. Hello Games has placed a special feature there to protect the base. Are you talking about this base? You cannot access the place. I don't really understand what you mean. Is it cheating if I turn on the HUD to find out why I can't pick up this? I'm so curious. Right, so. Is this system abandoned? Will there be a space station here? Wait, why are the servers down so much lately? So I'm on a blue system. I don't have a blue hyperdrive, so I won't be able to warp here. Six bases. Ooh, I wonder if it, wait. Let's show somebody else's base. Vapor planet. See, normally it will tell me that there's a base on that planet, but it's not showing me that there's a base. Hello Games has protected the feature base so you cannot access the base normally. Oh. Is that why I can't pick up the nip nip? Why would they do that? What do you mean protected the base? Like, what, what are they protecting it from? Me taking nip nip? Is that... I thought they'd made it so people can't destroy the bases anyway, but surely... Oh, is that why I couldn't dig on the planet as well? What about elsewhere on the planet? I'm curious now. I want to go further away from this base and try and... Try and dig. I thought it was just because I was in radius of the base, but maybe the whole planet is protected. Let's have a look. How scary is that? I thought I could protect myself from these extreme storms just by digging a hole. And then I find out I can't dig. <laughs> I still can't dig. Wow, the whole planet is protected from digging. No way. Did I fly farther away enough? Let's fly a bit more. So, this planet could have in fact have killed me if I didn't find that out quickly. I must have flew far enough away. Like normally it's just a little little way. Like I'll try one more time. So what I'm curious about is Lava Lamp says he's got a base in this system on another planet. But in my menu it's wait, I, no, I just killed a plant. It's not digging though, is it? Yeah, I can't terrain manipulate on this planet. How bizarre and how important to find out 
because it's a scary planet. You cannot pick stuff, but once you leave and go back, you can access things. Go to the station and teleport away and back. Okay. Do you mean the Nexus, or is there a space station in this system? Have a look. There's a space station. Okay, let's go to the space station. I'm also curious if it'll let me teleport to Lava Lamp's base. I didn't put a base next to that one, but I could just put a base anywhere in the system, I guess, because then I can always get back here. Although I might not be able to find that base. I don't know if I can lock on to other players' bases. One thing I've not tested, like, where's this space station gone? It's over there somewhere. Can I work it out? Hmm. In that direction somewhere, I can't quite tell. I could have got myself killed on that planet. I didn't know I couldn't terrain manipulate. I got myself into an extreme storm. Imagine if I had just flown away randomly to somewhere else on the planet, and then I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere, walking around, and there's an extreme storm. <laughs> I don't know where my ship is. I, I can't dig a hole to protect myself. I could have died. God. Right, where's this space station? Oh god, did I fly past it? I think I flew past it. That is funny. See all these lines? I can't see where the bloody space station is. Am I just... They were here somewhere. Oh, it's locked. I think it might have locked on. Is it taking me to the space station? I wish they would keep the map instead of that bloody pulse engine active. Who needs to know pulse engine active? There's the space station. Right. Oof. We show 1964 Lava Lamp. Oh my god. How cool is this? Imagine if I can use Lava Lamps in the farm. <laughs> People will say I'm cheating now. But I found this kind of randomly. Although Lava Lamps obviously told me that he's got a base here. So it's not super random. Right, why did I come here? Do I need to reload? Oh, I can get my suit slot. Let's go do that. Oh, have you found the S-Class weapon here by any chance? Wouldn't that be funny? Although I don't really want to find other people's weapons, I guess. Right, let's get this suit slot. What do they have here? That's about the worst multi-tool you can possibly get. God damn it. Right. Do I need anything? Oh, I didn't get my last crystal sulfide. Ah! I should have at least got that. No, I still can't build the submarine. Right, let me check out the teleport here then. Can I teleport to Lava Lamp's base? If I can, will I be able to build my own base in a near enough vicinity? Beeble has featured a base on PS4. He says it was lifted from the servers and placed there. It isn't his, it isn't his final build he uploaded, but a previous version. Interesting. Right, so if I go to other bases. See, so I'm not seeing your base here. Normally it would show me all the local bases, wouldn't it? Hmm. You say it's on the swamp planet. I wonder if I need to reload the game. Let me save and reload just in case. Let me try this. You say it's the swamp planet. So I'm not. See, I'm seeing this base here. That's the one that we just went to. But is there ultramarine skeletal vapor planet? See, I'm not seeing your base on this planet. Why is that? You're on PC permadeath. I'm on PC permadeath. Why would I not see your base? Let me reload, just in case it's it. Reload issue. Is there any reason that I'm not seeing it? Oh, is it because the servers are offline? Crap. Maybe the servers are affecting it. Did it just say my servers were offline? Kind of did, didn't it? Oh, 
Right, I'm going to have to turn this hudder back off. Let's do that. Let me just double check in the teleport if your base has appeared. You could pop onto Perma and upload it again. I suppose you can do that if you could do that right away. I don't know if it'll be if it will show up straight away though. Oh look, I've got another activated Indian farm. That's somebody else's. Ooh, I might go there. I've got a load of extra basic now. Is one of them yours? These bases weren't here just a moment ago. Lava lamp! There you go! <gasps> this must be you! Why so why is that? I just reloaded the game and then you're then it appears. So I hate stuff like that. So what's going on? Is my servers back online? My servers are back online. It must have been a server issue. Well, let's try and do it. Let's go to Lava Lamp's base. Which one was it? This one. Ice and Tom AI Farm. Whoa! On the Vapor Planet. Last edited. I don't think. I think that's a glitch. Right, I think I need to build a base on this system near to Lava Lamp. The other thing is, now I've got access to Ice and Tam. Wow. Mind blown. I don't even have anything other than the basic hyperdrive, and I'm already in Ice and Tam. Easy game, easy life. How cool. What a weird thing though that I had to reload the game to get the servers back online or something. It's kind of annoying because I'm sure I've been trying to get to other people's bases and it must just be a server issue. Right so we're at Lava Lamp's Indian Farm. I don't know how dangerous this planet is. So how do you tell how much is here? Let's have a look. Can I access it? 20,000 Indium! This is way better than the other Indium farm I found. 20,000. Are they all connected? Like, is it 20,000 total or is it 20,000 each? I don't know how it works. And there's a refiner here. Wow. Right, I need to put a base on this planet. Close enough to... Oh my god! Look at all of this! Look at this. I don't know how this works. But we're going to abuse it. Because we can. Oh my god, this stormy planet. I'm going to get myself killed. Hmm. Right. Will I be able to build or dig on this planet? Probably not, isn't it? Oh, let's scan that creature. Why not? So, my hazard protection is repairing. Let me see. I presume next to somebody's base I can't dig. Can I build my exocraft? I won't be able to build my exocraft dimer, will I? Oh my god. What, how do we do this? Hmm. Do I really have to wait for the storm to die down? I need to go far enough away that I can see this base. Maybe I go in my ship. Perhaps we could go find a little mountain to build a base on that we can see this base from. God. You've chose the most stormy planet. 20,000 each. Oh my god, I'm going to be rich. The storm crystals here. You've taken me to an extreme planet. I'm going to get, get myself killed here. I've got no... Right, I don't want to go far enough away from it. That is it, isn't it? Let me just double check. Wait, no, that's a trade platform. <gasps> I put a base on the trade platform. Where, where's the base gone? I've lost it. How have I lost the base? Right, let's try and work out where the hell... What have I done with the base? <laughs> there's the base. There's the base. Oh, wow, there's a crash freighter. There's a trade platform. Let me try and build a base on that trade platform. So, from the trade platform, straight ahead is the farm. Let's try that, shall we? Trade platform, where are you? There's the freighter. Was it over here somewhere? What? There it is. I wonder if I'll be able to build a base on this trade platform. 
Wow. I've done this without knowing about it, other than the fact that Lavalamp told me it was here, but essentially I went to a community base from the Nexus in Huddless mood, and then we found this lava lamps told me about his base in the same system how cool is that like, can I build a base please let me build build a base I could build a base oh my god 40,000 total activated indium do you know how much that is in units how much it's worth plain base and now I've got a shop here as well I'm just going to this teleport oh I could build a teleport and teleport to Lava Lamp's base from here directly. <laughs> and then I've got a shop right next to this base. How cool is that? Oh my god, I'm totally doing it. Let's build a teleport. Right in the middle. Oh god, I need to power it as well. How do I keep this powered all the time? I, I need some builder that knows how to do this stuff. I could build a battery. Does that work? No, probably not. I I found a random base that had a switch that when you walked close to it, it powered this thing. Does anybody know how to do that? Right, let me power this thing. Problem is, I'm going to have to power it separately every single time I use it, but I guess... If I were to build a battery and then charge it, how long would it keep this thing going for? Doesn't probably, does it? Right. So, what do I want to do? I probably want to go to my storage base, offload everything, then come back here and then go, go to his farm. 40 million! Oh my god! <laughs> I won't be able to carry it. Right. So, oh no, let me name this thing. Where did I put it? How cool is this? Lava lamps. Indium farm. That is so lucky and cool and amazing. Oh, crap. See, it's not powered now. I wonder if I should... Can I? Did I get access to the other power yet? I don't think I did yet, did I? Oh, I do. How, what do I need to build this? I don't know how to build that. Let's have a quick look in the catalogue. Uh, where will it be? Power. Construction part? Constructed technology. Oh. Is there power here? Solar power. I need gold. I don't have gold. What's the chances that there's gold here? Not going to be gold here, is there? There's, <laughs> there's just enough gold. Wow. Wow. What are the chances? That there's just enough gold for me to build the exact thing that I wanted to build. <laughs> That's kind of bonkers really, isn't it? The other thing is the battery. Can I build a battery? God, I don't know how to build a battery either. Battery. Biofuel reactor. Where's the battery? Battery. Magnetized ferrite. There's no way it's also got magnetized ferrite. No, no chance. No. But it will have ferrite dust. Oh, I've got paradise. I can make some. Let me do some of that. So, put this in the portable refiner. Oh God, got this here. Let's go to that. I don't really. I've never done enough building of the power stuff. Oh look, that looks quite nice. One million units. I could farm enough money to buy a ship. Right, I suppose I could build the wire whilst we're waiting for that to refine. Actually, it might have done. Almost done. Right, let's get that. It's 29. Oh, God, that was just one short, wasn't it? I've already got some, though. It should just be enough. Right, what did I say? Build a wire. If I build this... Oh, uh, I don't know how to do this actually. Can I connect it to the same one? I don't know. Oh, right. Well, there we go. And then I want to build battery, isn't it? Is that done cooking? Right, hopefully I can build a battery now. 
I don't know what the battery does, to be honest. I know it stores some. I'm hoping, like, whenever I come here, basically, that will be powered. But I don't know if it works like that. Does anybody know? Are there any builders here? Well, Lava Lamp's a builder, obviously. He's built a huge farm here. Does that work now? I wonder. What does it do? Does it say? It's charging. So I'm hoping that whenever I come here, this will be turned on and I can just use it. So, why are you using my portal? Get out of the way, buddy. So I think I need to go to my storage. Now, can I access this directly now? No. Why is this? Does anybody know? Lava Lamp, do you know? This guy's base on another system altogether. I can only teleport to it if I'm actually in the system. Now it won't let me. Why is that? But, thankfully I put my own base next to it. So, let's go there. Right, so I'm going to offload everything. Create as much space as possible. And we're going to go fill our bags with indium. Caroline says yes. I'm not sure what you're saying yes to. Did I say something? Oh, what a stroke of luck. So I went to a random community base, which is gorgeous, by the way, and then Lava Lamp happened to be watching, and he told me that he had a farm in the exact same system. This playthrough couldn't have gone any better. The battery will fill up so I can use it any time. Brilliant. That's what I was hoping. Look, there's my storage. So basically, I want to offload as much as I possibly can, empty everything, and then fill my bags up. There's no way I'm going to be able to fill everything up. I just don't have enough space. Now, unfortunately, there's only three storage containers here. I don't think it'll even be enough for me to offload everything. But we can but try. Did I unlock my own storage? I don't... Did I... I think maybe I unlocked one. Possibly not. We need more salvage data. We're going to have to go farm it, farming. Right, so let's just offload everything. Let's get rid of this thing. Just click everything out as much as we can. Oh, actually, I want to keep my batteries, don't I? I don't want to ever be without that. Right. And let's offload to this one. Oh, is there a way to access my high capacity directly from here? Or do I have to just do it individually? Probably have to do it individually, isn't it? It's kind of annoying. It's a bit of an ordeal to do this, but let's just get as much Indium as we can, make as much money as we can. I had to load the base from the servers, I think. If you aren't there, then it cannot access them. That's just annoying. But I've got the teleport in my menu, but I can't access it. Right. Let's deposit all this if we can. Right, that is as much as I can from there. What about on my ship? Oh god, my ship's not here. I want to get my ship as well. Let me summon my ship here. I just took away my nav data, didn't I? <laughs> oh god. I can just summon my ship, can't I? Uh, exosuit, put everything on the suit. I just want as much capacity as possible. Silly me, let's keep this charged. I might keep a little bit of fuel there actually, just in case. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Let me leave one stack of fuel just in case. Don't want any hiccups. Right, empty all of this out. There's as much storage as we can generate. Right, do I get rid of this for now? 
Uh, no, I'll keep that for now. I mean, it's only one slot, isn't it? So, I've got an empty ship as best as I can. I've got an empty suit as best as I can. Make a little save. And let's go teleport. I wonder if it'll let me teleport directly to Lava Lamp's farm or not. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, teleport. I always get lost in this space where the teleport is. Ooh, definitely not up there. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I can't believe it. I can actually make some money. It does feel a little bit cheesy, but I've kind of found it randomly, so I don't mind. Indian Farm. No, that's my base next to his base. Let me see if I can go to his base directly. Which one? So I don't need to go to this one anymore. That was a tiny Indian farm. I don't need that anymore. So where is... Lava Lamp. Where's Lava Lamp? So I've lost Lava Lamp's base now. Why is that? Why do I have everybody else? Oh no, there it is. Can I go there? I can. So why can I go there now? I don't understand. I don't understand why now I can go to it, but sometime later I won't be able to go to it. Right. See how much of this Indian we can actually store. I've got no idea. Uh, it's not letting me access it. There we go. Right. How much can I take? So I can't even take a full stack. That is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. But really cool. Right. And where's the teleport? There's a teleport here. Let me go teleport to my base in the system next to that shop. I'm going to crash the price though, aren't I? I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Whatever. I can go there first. But I can go to any tele. I can go to anywhere, can't I? Any space station, just sell it there. This is so cool. I'm rich. Thank you very much, Lava Lamp. I'm really abusing your kind will. The only thing I feel slightly cheaty is the fact that I didn't find this without Lava Lamp telling me that it was actually here. But I did find this system without Lava Lamp telling me it was here. So there is that. Caroline says she powers her portals that way all the time. Portal, you mean the teleports, isn't it? Is that what you mean by portals? Right. Let's sell it here. Crash the price in this system. And the only thing is I'll have to sell it multiple times. Oh god, why can't I access it? There we go. Sell. Activated in 9 million. Oh my god. Selling it. And for my ship as well. Where's my... Why is it not letting me switch to my ship? What the hell? Not letting me switch to my ship. Really? The ship's right here. Why is my ship right here as well? Why can I not sell from my ship? Can you not do that on the trade station? Maybe not. Okay. Put this all in the suit then. That's a bit weird. Unfortunately, now the price has crashed, but it's only one load, isn't it? Whatever. Next time we'll go to a different system. How long does it take for the farm to refresh? Do you know? If I sell it to the black market guy on the station, it doesn't crash the market. Do you mean on a space station? The guy with the tainted metal? If I sell it to him, it doesn't crash the market. Really? I didn't know that. All right, let's go back to the farm. Ooh, I could fly there. Let's fly there. Why not? Oh. Let me on my ship. All 
Right, so it is this way. Was it this way? I think it's over here somewhere. Wait, what? There it is. <laughs> That's so cool. I flew, I flew to the farm. I didn't want to use the teleporter. I wanted to fly. Why can't I land? Oh my god. Let me land, game. Has to be on the landing pad to access the ship. That's a bit annoying. Oh god, what have I done? Storming like hell. Let's get to protection. Get inside here. Right, let's grab as much as we can. 6,000 left. Very good. And is there another one? Can I access another one then? There's another 20,000 here. Oh my god. Right. So let's try and go to a space station and sell it to that guy then. Doesn't crash the market. Does that mean I can just go to the same space station again and again? Should we test that? Alright, let's go to, let's say Garrett's Hub. That's back to my ed edge of the galaxy. You know what I didn't do? I didn't mark down that this Lava Lamps farm is in Isentam. I'll have to remember that. It's useful to have access to Isentam. When I eventually get all my portal glyphs, I'll be able to go visit other people's bases via portal. Right, so Lava Lamp says if I go sell to this guy, it doesn't crush the market. We're going to test it out. I didn't even know I could sell stuff like Indium to him, to be honest. Let's have a look. Purchase old scrap. If I go to sell, I could sell my activated Indium. Wait, what? Did I not have any on my ship? Did I not fill my ship up? Oh, I bet my ship was too far away. Oh well. Well, we'll try this again. Right, let's go back. Get the rest of it. I think we'll be able to take one more load. Right, so where was it? So can I go back directly to his base? This one, isn't it? Yep. Oh my god, I'm rich! 40 million! Now I would have been able to fall that S-Class freighter. Ah, oh, what a shame I hadn't done this yesterday. We randomly went onto a little freighter and it was an S-Class. It was 23 million. I couldn't afford it. Now I'm rich! Did you say how long it takes for it to refresh? Does it refresh every day or does it... How does it work? Oh my god, 40 million every time I want to do this. Well, we never have to worry about money again. Ship was too far away, yeah, that's what I thought. I forgot. Well, thank you very much, Lava Lamp. What a... What a bonus that we found this base in this playthrough. Right. I don't know which one it was. Wow, it's already made 250 new ones. <laughs> right, so there's that one and this one. So does this basically access all of it? Sorry, I don't know. But basically, is that it empty after this is... We've done it. We've got every last drop. Actually, does it say when how long it takes to replenish? 2,000 an hour. 20,000. That's like in 10 hours, basically, isn't it? Profitable stream tonight. I know. Is it cheesy? It's a little bit cheesy. It's not really cheesy. I mean, I didn't know this was here. I didn't know how to get here. I kind of found it. Well... I was lucky Lava Lamp was on stream when we came here. And to be fair, it's good. As somebody who's in the stream, we've been able to take advantage of their base. How cool is that? Right, let's go back to that vendor, shall we, and see 
that it's not crashed. So every 10 hours, so basically every time I stream I could do this and just get easily rich. What do I even need money for? I mean, you don't need money for that many things these days. I suppose if I was to buy my own freighter, that's the next thing, big decision to have is what do I accept as a freighter? I've got, I was thinking I really don't want to go around farming the freighter like 50 times to keep doing the same battle again and again. But I was wondering, maybe I hold off getting a freighter until we actually find the S-Class. Now that will take hours and hours and hours and hours and hours because you don't do that many. But basically every time it offers me a freighter battle, I do the freighter battle and I basically do it until we find an S-Class and then accept it as free. But it might mean that I don't have a freighter for like years. But I might prefer that than just cheesing the game completely. Right, what am I doing? I'm trying to sell this stuff, isn't it? Sell. So, wait, saying minus 8%. That means I've lost money. I'm losing money, isn't it? Maybe they, have they fixed it, do you reckon? Minus 8%. Was it my, I didn't pay attention. Was it minus 8% initially? That feels like it's crashed, doesn't it? Or not, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind. I'll sell it here anyway. I suppose if I sell it from the ship, it should have crashed it again. Is that right? But maybe that's just its natural price. Right, we've got 43 million units. I've almost got enough to like buy an S-Class hauler. Well, not Christ. I could buy an S-Class fighter. Fighter. If I come across an S-Class small freighter, I would totally buy it now. I'm always looking at these ships, greedily eyeing them. We could totally look out for a ship that's worth to buy now. I'm rich! Right, let's go back to the storage and pick up all my goodies. And then we can get out to exploring. How cool is that? Well, there's all those other bases I wanted to visit. Maybe I should keep visiting bases. Bases seem to be rather lucrative. Although I cannot imagine there's anything else that I possibly need. Right, storage. I wonder, will it let me go there directly now that I just visited? Let's have a look. Now it does. I don't know why that does. You built it when you had walked one single time. Didn't even have any stellar drives. Brand new save. That's kind of cool. How long ago did you build it? Tell us the history. Ah, okay. Just a bad initial price. Ah, it doesn't matter. Now I can get easy money. Which means I don't need to concentrate on money whatsoever. I can just visit an Indian farm whenever I need to top up. How much does a freighter cost these days if I had to buy it? It's, only, it's like 500 million or so, isn't it? I'd only need to do this like 10 or 15 times. We could totally do that easily and you'd have enough to buy a freighter anyway. And what else do you even need money for? I, I never know what to spend money on anyway. Right, where's my storage? I'm lost. There it is. This is the only headache with doing this, is that you've got to empty everything to have space. I guess we need to focus on... Right, so what do we actually want to carry with us? We definitely want to have some chromatic metal, but probably not that much. Definitely want to have some carbon, but probably not that much. I definitely want my salt back and my crystal sulfide when we get my thing. I definitely want these. What else do I want? Yes, we want the metal plating. We want this. We want this. Definitely want ferrite dust. Definitely want some antimatter. I suppose I can make some warp cells. Right, so I don't think I need anything else of that for the time being. I guess we want a little bit of pure ferrite and magnetized ferrite. 
definitely want some of our fuel back, but probably not all of it. Definitely want sodium nitrate, we definitely want ionized cobalt. Want this back, want this back. Definitely want oxygen. Definitely need my paraffinium. Now I'm full. Right, let's sort this out, shall we? This can all go in the high capacity. Very useful stuff. It's all stocked up. Let's get the oxygen there as well. Let's put this on the ship. I want this in the high capacity. This in the high capacity. Yes, I put this in the high capacity. Okay, what else do we need? Oh, come on, let me on. Right, we need... That's ship fuel, so we need that. Don't need that. Did I take cobalt? Do I need cobalt? What do I need cobalt for? The ionized cobalt I need. Dense carbon, copper. I don't think I need any of that at the moment. Is there any reason I need cobalt? If I don't take it, I'll bloody need it, won't I? Right, I think that's everything. So, do I have any more high capacity? Let's put that in the high capacity. Put this in the starship. And this is the kind of stuff we're carrying on me. Right, good to go. I probably should top up some of these, but I don't need it for now. Let me take the cobalt just in case. I can't think what I need it for, but it will utterly annoy me if I end up needing it and don't have it. Right. The question is now, do I keep visiting bases or do we go exploring? Hmm. Started a new permanent save about two, three months ago. Wanted out of Euclid as quickly to use the featured bases. So use the featured bases. Ah. Alex, after midnight here, I built some storage containers on the base. It might take a while for them to show. Ah. Uploading the base again. So it should be there. Ooh. So I could use it as a farm and storage at the same time. I will have to try it next time I visit. That will be very useful. Right. So, other bases. Do we try and go somewhere else? Or do we get back to exploring? Monolith Point by Street Jesus. Let's just do it, shall we? I think this is back on the my storage base system. This might just be the near the portal, a portal base of some sort. Should we go to another featured base? Because they seem to be rather special, don't they? How cool that you built... Wait a second, how is it that... How long has the base been featured for? You built it three months ago. And the featured base... Takes you to that planet still. Do they not rotate the featured bases? I never go to the featured bases. So I, I would have thought... They change it more frequently. Ooh, where am I? So I've come to... Monolith point to whatever it was called. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Wow, this looks impressive. Wow, this is much more than I expected. I thought this would be a nothing base, but it's an actual base. Wow. There's a teleporter here, at least, a powered teleporter. Very good. I like the colour, this black colour. Black and yellow. Very nice. Oh, I should totally be taking pictures of all of these things. These are the cool things that we're visiting. Somebody's not covered up the wire. Wow. Look at this. Don't know what it is, but I'm taking a picture. The portal code's here. How cool is this? Now, I'm wondering... I know the portal was on this planet. I would have thought this would be near the portal. Oh, look. Packed on power supply over there. Is that one of the generators? It's probably the generator, isn't it? I see I've really not done enough building. I, I don't know how people put a generator all the way over here, but manage to power it all the way over there. How does that work? 
Looks like it's miles away. Is it a generator? Let's have a look. It is an electromagnetic generator, a B class. Very good. Powers all the way over there. Now, how comes the line like zigzags in and out? Does that automatically happen? Or has he had to build a line there and then a line there and then a line there? I don't know. Since companions, I think it has been there. They don't change very much. Ah, I thought they would rotate a little bit more frequently. I'm glad it didn't. I mean, I've now got access to your Indian farm. How cool is that? I'll be going there frequently, I imagine, whenever I need a bit more cash. So, I wonder if the portal is near here somewhere, or if it's miles away. What is it? This is a big rock, so he's built this kind of staircase down to this big rock. It's a bit unusual, isn't it? I don't see the portal, so it probably is not actually near the portal. I know the portal was on this planet when I arrived in this system. Hmm. Very cool though, isn't it? Ah, oh, I'm enjoying going to random bases, I tell you. It's the kind of thing I don't normally do, but it's kind of super cool. And the fact that I've got no idea what these bases have or if they're useful. I wonder, can I steal this? Let's have a look. No, I can't steal it. <laughs> that would have been not very nice, I suppose. I wonder what they what this is supposed to mean like it's like he's built an altar to this big rock it's kind of cool though isn't it I love I love that it's like it feels like it's relatively simple to have built something like this yet it looks super impressive but to be honest I've got no idea how you've made floating symmetry like this it looks really cool so this base was built I think it's sweet Jesus or something is this the module let's have a look uh, Log didn't get one less point. Did it not say anything more than that? Report this base is offensive. I hope people don't go around reporting bases and get them somehow deleted or something. That would be a bit. I wonder, can I build, leave a message here or will it not let me? Oh god, have I not unlocked the message thing? Oh no. I've not unlocked the message. Is that true? Or is it just because I'm too close? Let me go travel somewhere and see if I can leave a message elsewhere. That's a bit un unfortunate. There's all this power here, so I guess I can't... Ah, I need to go to the Nexus and make sure I've unlocked the, ne the message module. I, I think I'm... I've got six salvage data, that's surely enough. Well, I've got the blueprint thing, let me do this. Oh, I can't build this either. I must be too close to his base. Hmm. Can I build anything? I wonder if I can... Yeah, so I can't build my base, so I need to walk far enough that I can build my base. There we go. Over here. Like, can I build that blueprint thing now? No, I'm missing something. Oh god, what am I missing? What do you need to build the blueprint? Where will I find it? Constructed technology? It's too many things. I'll never find it. Where's the blueprint analyzer? Base computer. This one, isn't it? Construction research. Carbon nanotubule, that's what I'm missing. Right. Have I unlocked the message module? <laughs> hmm, where is the message module? Are you kidding me? It's not even here. Oh, can I build it now? Maybe I just couldn't build it. No. Nope. Right, we're going to have to go to the Nexus, I guess, because for some reason I don't have access to a message module, which is a shame. I would have left the message here. Beautiful base.
Alright, let me go see if I can unlock the message module. Hello Ming, how are you doing today? Guinea pigs, guinea pigs. <laughs> That's something random. Right, let's see how to unlock the message module, at least to how much it's going to cost me. I'm going to all these bases, I want to at least leave them a message. Particularly to like impressive little bases like that one. Maybe we can go to the other community base as well whilst we're here. Random base visits. I didn't think I'd be doing that in this playthrough, but... I'm actually really enjoying it. Right. Come on, let me in. So, message module, where the hell are you? Uh, is it here somewhere? No. How do I unlock the message module? Let me let me tell people messages. Is it here? What the hell? Anybody know how to unlock the message module? This is super annoying now. I don't see it here anywhere. Was I just not far enough from the base? Perhaps I already have it. I don't see it here. I have to go to a new planet and see if I can build it randomly on a... I've got this one. Let me do this one then. Message module. It's not the normal one. But... I suppose that will do. And it costs metal plating and nanotubules. Okay, that's easy enough. So where's the classic one then? It's just a bit weird, isn't it? Nope, don't see it. Okay, we'll have to try on a fresh planet and see. Right, should we try one of the other community bases? Just to ch check it out? I wonder what galaxy this one will be in. Is there a way you can tell? Recent your bases featured. Why can I not go to featured now? What? What? <laughs> Have my servers gone offline again? No. Why have I lost the featured bases? Okay. Right, I don't know why I've lost the featured bases. That is bizarre, isn't it? Well, I guess we're not doing that after all. I guess I'll, I'll go to an, a new system then. Let me just go to a space station. I don't know why that's happened. This game does have little quirks though, doesn't it, like this? A moment ago I could walk to featured bases and now all of a sudden I can't. I wonder if it's because I was in a blue system or well, not it shouldn't matter should it right I'm just gonna go walk to a completely fresh system I've actually got enough money we, we should actually try and get a new ship I need a bigger ship with more storage on it and we actually still need to get one last crystal sulfide to get my submarine going we've got so much to do Let me just go to a new system then. Where do we go? I'm back in Euclid. Let's just go here, I guess. Doesn't really matter, does it? 
I hope it's a system that's not been discovered by someone. I, I want a fresh system all to my own to explore. And we might as well first of all get my suit slots because we need them badly. A load of money now as well. Maybe I should be buying cargo slots then. Nah, I'll try and buy those on planet. So, is there stuff we need to top up on? A pyrite perhaps? Guys, I found a base that says no squid. I wonder what that means. No squid ship, perhaps? Alright, let's grab this suit slot. Ninety thousand units, plenty of money. Get that. Come on, will I find a good multi tool? No, still no good multi tool. Fair enough. Have a quick look at the shop. Let's just have a quick look. Is there anything I really need to top up on? A little bit more oxygen. I've got ferrite dust. I don't have sodium here. I get a bit of sodium, I guess. Let's get some stack of sodium. We said a bit more oxygen. Anything else? Salt. I'm going to take a bit more salt. I, I needed the salt for the submarine. I don't know if I'll need it for anything else. So let me just take that whilst we're here. That will do. I suppose I should see if there's any ships that have landed. Wow, can you imagine? The next exotic that we come across, I'll actually be able to afford. I hope we can find a good one. Oh my god, look at that! I want that ship! That ship looks cool. Why does it have to be C-Class? You bastard. Maybe I need to go hunt for this ship. Do I like this ship? It's kind of cool. It's got the nose I like. It's got the cockpit I like. It's got the engine I like. I've not really had a ship that's got these kind of five spikes before. It looks cool though, doesn't it? I'd have to try and get a better class than a C-Class though. It's going to have not very many slots again. More for the aesthetic beauty. I suppose I could upgrade it though, isn't it? What do you guys think? Do you like that ship? Red, black and blue. Kind of nice colours. Hmm. Maybe we need to go find a trade platform in the system. Let me just check out the shop over here. The only problem with buying that ship is that it is still a really tiny ship for now. Does that matter? Let me stock up on some of these nanotubules. I'll get a few more of these as well. Get some more metal platings. I don't need any more of this. I don't have gold. Do I, I don't really want to keep gold on me. It feels like too much. Nope, that'll do. Right, I'm going to go to the Nexus, get my suit slot, check if the features bases work, and then I think we'll explore the system a bit. See if we can find a trade post. Maybe come across that ship. Let me get my suit slot before I forget. Pyrite. I'm running a bit low on pyrite. How do you make pyrite? Can you refine it?
Right, let's have a look. Get my suit slot and I'll check if the features base is working again or if it's still broken. I don't think I'll go there though, I want to kind of explore the system now we saw that ship. Would I accept an A-Class? Probably. I can always upgrade it to an S-Class later, down the line. Right, thank you very much, I'll have this. Did I buy a high capacity one? 400,000. I suppose I'll find them on planets eventually, won't I? Well, I'll keep doing this one for now. Alright, let me just double check to see if that featured base glitch is resolved. I think we'll save it for another time though. I've had enough of base visiting. I need to get out there and explore myself. I still can't access featured. What? Why? Why? That is bizarre. I could do it before. We went to a featured base and now I can't visit them. Bit weird. Alright, let's go have a look at this system then. See what kind of planets we've got. See if we can find a trade post. And I'll keep an eye out for that ship. I don't even really notice what system we're in at the moment. Let's have a quick look. So we're in a system discovered three years ago by Firebricks. That's a kind of interesting. So he's already been here. Has he put a base down? He's not put a base down. A couple of planets he's not explored. It's so amazing that I'm going to all these systems that he's like explored. What planet? That looks maybe like a radioactive planet. Should I just try that one? Looks like it's got a blue sky. So what, what do we want? We want to find a trade post. We need drop pods. We need, I guess, manufacturing facilities. We need lots of salvage data. Oh, wow, it's got a filter. What is this planet? Those look like radioactive plants, but maybe it doesn't have a filter. It just looks a bit strange here. It's nice and flat, so if there's lots of buildings, we should be able to find them. There's a crash freighter, I just don't find those particularly useful. Hmm, not seeing much in the way of buildings, are we? My eyes are scanning the horizon. Wait, did I see something there? No, that's just something to mine. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of buildings here. Wait, what was it that Caroline said? She said to follow the, the plants. The only thing I couldn't quite understand from Caroline's suggestion was I need to see like another set of plants to how do you know which direction to go? I need to sit all at there. <laughs> That'll do. Right, so at the very least we can check out a multi-tool. Might be able to try and do a zoology. I need to keep an eye out for an NPC. That's what we really want. I need to spend all my nanites. Oh, look! My first little... Fiddly experimental. Do I want that? Probably not. Too tiny. Nah. Don't think I need any of this really. What about speaking to you? Do you ever give me anything useful? Mm, report a crime. Maybe you got some standing? I don't know. Right, that wasn't particularly useful, was it? I at least get my nanites here and get my salvage data. Plants generally aren't space for a plant. I wonder if it's a particularly 
bad planet for structures and just the plants. A space fire plant is the buildings of fire plant. Oh, I always need to get down and to the left. Down and to the left. Down and to the left. Where are you? Where is it? Oh my god, it's still not here. What the hell? Am I going right? Down and to the left. Could be here somewhere. Wow, it's never been this far away. I wonder if, because the buildings are far apart, I wonder if like the salvage data is far apart. There it is. I just wasn't going left enough. Right. What to do? Scan some creatures, I guess. I wonder what, what kind of creatures there are on this planet. Wait, did I scan that or not? Oh god, it didn't finish scanning. Dang it. Right, so how many creatures are on this place? One of seven. Ground, ground, ground. Flying, flying, underground. I need the nanites, so I could try and do the zoology. But do I want to be on a planet which seems a little bit sparse with the buildings? I don't know. Oh, look. Little guy. I suppose there should be a cave here. Let's see if we can find the cave creature. If we find the cave creature, it gives me hope that I could find all the creatures because I think it'll be the cave creature that we struggle. Is that even a cave? Or is that just like a little canyon? Ooh. I should get the health just in case I've ever taken damage. Who knows if I've taken damage? But I guess I save as well. Right, let's go have a look. Is this a cave? Doesn't seem like a cave really, is it? But maybe you'd find a creature here. Come on, where are you, cave critter? Ooh, no. It's the same guy. It's not really a cave, is it? It's This is cave. Ooh, shall I collect the albumin pearls? They're a bit obnoxious to collect, that's the only thing, but I don't really need to, do I? I've got this Indian farm. I don't need to collect stuff like that. I could just for the fun of it. A, a tiny bit of passive income as we... I think if they were Vortex cubes, there's loads of them though, isn't there? Look at them all. Take a couple. Sometimes they just don't pick up very easily. Like they open and like this one doesn't want to pick up. There we go. It's Lava's method for finding buildings. Maybe he can explain it better. <laughs> I'll give it another go. I mean, I, the way I understood it from you is to look at the plants, then line up to the other plant, and then fly in that direction. Is that basically it? The problem I had just now was I had a plant, but I couldn't see another plant to work out the direction. Am I understanding correctly, or have I misunderstood? I've collected all of these. Now you have a look, see how many I got, and it's like 40. I mean, it's like it's not that much worth money, is it? Right, cave creature. Do we say if I explore this cave and I don't find it that we give up, or do we? Is that too? Hmm. Thing is, if I do find it, then I have to do the zoology in this planet. Hmm. When you're trying to be a little bit efficient, doing stuff like hunting for cave creatures feels very, very inefficient, doesn't it? I'm not seeing any creatures here. Get more albumin pearls. 
problem is now I've like filled up all my capacity. That's why like, if it, if I had like if you could have like a stack of a hundred of these, I would totally just keep picking them up, picking them up, picking them up. But when it takes up all your suit spots, I did park near a shop, I suppose. I'll just go sell them. Oh my god, can't pick it up. Ah, oh, leave these ones. I say I park near a shop, but actually I don't know where the shop is anymore. <laughs> oh, birds. Scan those. Right, can we find... There's my ship. There we go. Let me go sell these album in pearls, and then I'll go flying again, I think. See if we can find more buildings. Try this little trick that Caroline suggested. I certainly don't think it's really worth picking up these armor and pearls. Like when we can, when we've got access to a farm, like two hundred thousand units. I mean, I suppose whatever, a bit of money. Right, let's keep flying them. So let me try this plant trick again. Let's see if we can find the plant and then. Oh look, there's another building. Ooh, crash ship. Can we go for a crash ship? We want a ship in this system, don't we? Wouldn't it be funny if I found the ship I want crashed? Okay, I'll have a look. These things are such big distractions though, because like in Hudless, basically me committing to this, that's like half an hour. <laughs> and it might not even be a ship I can pick up. But I suppose it doesn't matter, does it? We're having fun. Right, down and to the left. There it is. Brilliant. Salvage so data. Right, let's see if we can get coordinates. I mean, really lucky so far. It's not sent me to a freighter yet. So I reckon I'm due for one, unfortunately. I think it's 77. I'm not even going to calculate. Yeah, it worked. There we go. Right, so we need to go to space and try and lock on. I'm seeing loads of buildings now. How bizarre. But let me go try and lock onto that ship. And if any luck, it will be the ship I'm actually wanting from this system. And then I'll accept it, whatever class it is, because why not? So I need to go into space and try and lock on to crash ship. Hey Pidge, how are you doing? We're having quite the stream, as usual. I went to a random community featured base. And what I didn't know is that Lava Lamp had an Indian farm in the same system. So we've now got access to Lava Lamps' Indian farm, and it's massive. So I'm now rich. And right now, I've just locked on, or I'm hoping I've locked on, to coordinates for a crash ship. I might not have done it though. I'm not 100% sure if this was a lot. Only one way to find out. Let me put this on, because hopefully if it is a crash ship, I'll get a red dot on my radar pop up. I'm seeing something down there. What? This isn't a crash ship. Is this the outpost I was just at? Did it just lock me on to the same outpost? Let's land. I should be able to tell because I dug here. I think it is, isn't it? Isn't that some digging? Why does it lock me on to an outpost that I've already visited? This is my dig, isn't it? Wait, what? I didn't dig this, did I? What is going on? <laughs> what the hell? Did I dig this? Hmm, is this the place? I'm utterly confused now. Wait, did I go to here? Let's have a quick look. Did I do a... 
The Thimunian Encampment. Is this the same thing? It's the same thing. That it's taken me to the same outpost. It locked on back here. How bizarre. I didn't notice before. How did I dig to this? That's a good idea to go to a featured base. Yeah. What's really bizarre now though is I went back to the Nexus to try and go to a different featured base and now I can't access them for some reason. I'm hoping it's just like a server glitch. Right. It's super annoying that it locks me on to a building that I've already been to. Let me try to go further out and try and... Oh god, pirates. Oh no, object. Ah, these things aren't particularly useful, are they? Right. Can I lock on somewhere else? Right, it's locked me onto something. I hope it doesn't take me back to the outpost again. That would be super annoying. Isn't it weird that it you visit an outpost and then it somehow will lock onto the outpost when you're in space? I suppose it's useful to some degrees. Right, where the, what? I, th I swore it locked on. I'm not seeing any crash ship on my radar. I don't know what happened there. Let's try again. I think it must be locking on because I've visited it. But it's kind of annoying. And the only thing, maybe I need to go to the other side of the planet because Often the crash ships are quite far away, aren't they? Let's get rid of these pirates. I've got lots of money now. I can just pay them off constantly. I don't understand why the pirates aren't costing me lots of money. Is it because my ship is so weak? They never send strong pirates to kill me? I don't know. Right. that lock on? I don't know. I don't know if that's locking on. Feels like it's locking on. Let's try that. Slightly annoying that this is taking so long. When I first did it, I did it like first time and it was easy. Now I'm doing it and sometimes it is taking a while to work out. It felt like it locked on again but God knows. This looks more promising. Yeah, there we go. What? I've got a buried crash ship. No, it's just a shuttle. Right, is it even worth picking this up? I suppose there's a chance of storage slots which would be really useful. It's an A-class. I get A-class modules. Okay, that's worth it. A-class modules. Bit in a night. I'll take it. Ooh, and I got a phase beam. Not bad. That's another thing. I've not decided what weapon I'm going to ultimately want in my ship. I suppose I need a good ship before I do that. Well, let's get my down and to the left. If I can actually dig down and to the left. Why is it not digging very well? It feels like... There it is. Down and to the left. Let's try and fix this ship then, shall we? Can I get you? Nope. New birds as well. is not going too badly, is it? Right. Let's try and fix this thing. Right. Do I have everything? I hope they've got most stuff. Might be a bit low on ferrite dust. Oh, this is... Ah, it's always good when it's... Can I get rid of this? Oh, look. Antimatter. Brilliant. I don't think I need this. I'll keep this one. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll take, keep it for now. Right, let's go scrap this bad boy. Right, just need to find the space station. Over there somewhere. 
There is. Oh. Incoming message. Oh, it's gone. Hang it. Oh, let me in. What's going on? <laughs> I can't pilot a shuttle. Well, that was a bit weird. Right, this is a relatively big one. I wonder how much I'll get for this one. Mainly the nanites, and I want the chance of it. Some storage slots for my other ships. Oh, do I have room? Oh god, I'm not going to have room, am I? Right, let's get rid of all of this silicate powder. Let me get rid of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that enough? I'll get rid of this as well. Oh my god, hardly anything. <laughs> 700,000 units. Oh well. It's mainly the modules and the... Ah, I didn't get the suit slots. That's a shame. Did I only get one A-class module? I thought I always got two. Oh my god. 300 nanites though. That's almost one X-class module. Or maybe it is one X-class module. Can we eventually find an NPC? Alright, let's get rid of all this rubbish. Activated Emerald. Right. Don't know how much, how worth it that is, to be honest. But, I don't know. Right, let's go back to that planet. I think I want to see if I can find the trade post to see if we can find that fighter ship we saw. Because I would have totally buy it if we find one in an A class or above. Let's go to the light side. We made a bit of progress with the zoology as well. How much progress did we make? Four of seven. Ground, ground, underground. Okay. Keep our eyes peeled. So another thing I could potentially do is to scan for a trade post and then try and lock onto that. If I really needed to. And then I'll just fly randomly for the time being. So let me see if I can find some of these gamma plants and try the trick to line up with building ley lines. Oh, it's this one. Abandoned building. I don't think that's worth landing at. Get a few nanites. Right, so there is some gamma plants. Is there any other gamma plants? Some over there. Let's say this is the direction. Have a look, do we? Hmm. Still not really seeing buildings. Did I do that right? Lined up from one plant to another plant and then just fly. Is that how it's done? Oh look, there's a trade platform. Okay. Let's see if we could get that fighter to land in then. Maybe I'll buy it if it... A class or better. Mind a new ship. It's hard because you can't follow north or south. Ah, is that what you need to do? I thought I could just line up one plant to another plant and assume that's the right direction. Is it not so simple? Right, so we are in a GEC system, but one of the fighters we saw was really cool. And maybe I'll buy it. Look, this is, look at this ship. What class are you? A class. Should I just buy an A class? I might just buy this A class for starters. 
It's a cool looking ship, but it's not very big. I'll add it to my collection for now. I can always get rid of it. Make an offer. Go shape price. I can totally buy it. Two and a half million. Easy. Right. Question is, can I find a better... Can I find an S-Class ship? Do I even wait? I mean, we found that straight away. What do you guys think? Do you like this ship? It's kind of cool, isn't it? Not a bad way of doing it without the compass. Yeah, I don't know if it works, but... I mean, we found this trade post fairly quickly, so maybe it works. Right, so I've now got another ship, which also doesn't have any upgrades. Question is, do I try and wait for the S-Class? Or do I try and wait and see some of the other ships? Because I could even buy another ship. I've got loads of money now. I could have some other ships just from extra storage capacity. Then I could use a ship to like carry all my salvage datas and stuff like that, for example. One way of doing it. And it, at least look, maybe I could get a nice explorer. Particularly if I find an S-Class ship. If an S-Class ship comes along, should I just buy it? E-Class. I do like this ship. Let me move it out of the way, so... Uh, why can't I select it, though? Ah, uh, this one. Move it out of the way so that platform is available. So, if I finally get a ship I want to keep or make up, I could start getting X-Class modules for it if we could. I want to move this one out of the way as well, actually. Let's move that one out of the way. So what upgrades do I have in that ship at the moment, actually? I've got absolutely nothing, do I? The only thing I've built is the economy scanner and the rocket launcher. <laughs> well, at least it's easy to make my... Did I not even get the hyperdrive yet? Yeah, I, I haven't even installed a hyperdrive yet. <laughs> well, that makes it easy to upgrade to the next ship. Basically, I've got nothing in it. Ooh, what if we find a good exotic? If I was going to get an exotic, do I go for one that I like, or do I go for the first one I find? Hmm. These are the questions. I can actually afford an exotic now. I might just buy the first S-Class ship that comes that, that I afford. Unfortunately, this is a GEC system, so it's all going to be haulers, isn't it? Haulers I probably can't afford, actually. I even like this ship. If this came as an S-Class, I'd probably buy it. Hmm. The question is, how long do we do this for? That's a cool explorer as well. Blazing Owl. That's quite nice. I'd buy that one. I don't think I want to buy it if it's not an S-Class, though. How much is this one? Six million, so I could afford a little, little explore, a little hauler. It's only the really big haulers I won't be able to afford. It's been a long time since I've been ship shopping. It's not something I, I, mean, I used to do a lot back in the day, but I don't know. You get your ship set, and then. That's it done, really, isn't it? C class. Hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing the exotic just to see if I would even like it. An A class, 17 million units. It's fairly pricey, isn't it? 31 plus 4 slots. Quite a lot of storage. Useful for carrying stuff about. I could build it by a hauler. Maybe I'd prefer to find a crash hauler. Maybe we should find more crash ships on this planet, because I suppose you're more likely to find a crash hauler. Oh, look, there's my... <gasps> there's another interesting looking fighter. Oh, I quite like that one. I don't like the tail fin. But I otherwise like it. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Let's see what colour it is. 
This is my favourite wing. I like these engines at the back here. I don't like the colour green. I don't like the cockpit. No, we're not having that one. This is mine. Come on, be an S class. Bastard B class. Is it blue now? What the hell? I thought it was. Oh no, I did think it was blue, didn't I? Blue, red, and black. Yeah, that's it. Ah, it's a shame it wasn't an S class. I would totally buy it. And I'd have two of the same ship, but that's okay. For now. Right, so do we wait for an S-Class to come, or do we just accept that we've got an A-Class and move on? That's the problem. Ship hunting takes quite a while, doesn't it? I don't really want to do the re reload scamming kind of thing. Not in a HUDless playthrough. There's an A-Class one of these. Did I buy that one as well? I've got a load of A-class ships. So that's not particularly useful, is it? The problem is, if I end up building an A-class ship, I'll then start installing X-class modules on it, and then basically I'm committed to that ship. Once I build a load of X-class modules that are difficult to get, that's my ship, basically, isn't it? Not such a bad thing. I'm like, I can upgrade it. The problem is, these ships are small, and it's going to take so many, so much work to upgrade it to maximum size. Uh, if it was an S class, I'd buy it. Hmm. So, how much longer do we give it? Yeah, I know I can upgrade the class, but the problem is, well, one, it's a huge amount of nanites, and two, to be honest, in this playthrough with X class modules all the time, I'm going to constantly be out of nanites. Because basically, you. You've got a never-ending amount of X-Class modules because you're never going to get good ones. So I'm constantly going to be trying to get the better upgrade. So my Nanite Sink is huge. The 50,000 is actually huge for me. Hmm. I'd hope that I find at least one S-Class ship. Or see the exotic come in. What else can I do whilst I'm waiting around here? There's not too much I can do really, is there? There are caves here. I wonder if I could find a cave critter. I dive down and have a look. I'll be able to... Oh, that's an S-Class! Oh my god! Don't miss it, don't miss it. That's an S-Class Explorer. I'm buying it. Right? Is my jetpack good enough to get all the way to the top? Yes, just about. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I saw an S-Class Explorer. E-Class. That's the one, I think. Let's go have a look. I'm buying it. My first S-Class. S-Class. Only got 19 slots, but it's kind of interesting. I'll have it. Oh, God. Let me buy. <laughs> so is this going to be my first proper ship? Make an offer. S-Class. Negotiate price. If I can exchange or I can buy, I'll buy it for now. Not even that expensive. Oh, -ho! I don't know if I like it, but I'm having it. They just say nanite sink, yeah. Right, let me sort my music out because it stopped for some reason. We got our first S class ship. I'll just restart the playlist. How do you guys like it? I've never had one with these really long wings up top. I don't know how it will fly. I guess we can test it out. What does it have for tech? Not particularly much, does it? But I don't mind upgrading this one. Blazing Owl. Insert. Insert what? Litut. What's that word mean? The only problem is I kind of like the, the fighter more. Hmm. 
take it for a spin. Let's see what it feels like, shall we? Because now the question is, I might have to fly this and fly the fighter. How do we like it? What are the advantages of an explorer over a fighter? I like this. What's it look like from this end? I like the cockpit view. That's quite nice. I mean, it's not that bad, is it? I don't have the rockets on this one. Hmm. Let me check out this fighter, see what the fighter feels like. Because the question is, because at the end of the day, I'm only going to be able to upgrade one ship. So the actual ship I decide to upgrade is really important. What emblem does it have? That one. Right, let me pull my new fighter as well and take that for a spin. Cheaper launch cost, better hyperdrive range. But I, I like the aesthetic of this fighter more than the Explorer. Let me feel what this feels like. Oh god, what am I doing? Ah, oh, crap. I've got all my uranium on my other ship. So I kind of miss that I don't see the nose of the ship here. Don't you feel like you should see the nose? Hmm. See, this fighter looks much better when you're not flying it, doesn't it? What do you reckon? Fighter or explorer? Litot is a phrase like not bad. Ah. What do you guys reckon? The explorer or the fighter as my main ship? If I'm saying not the fighter, then I probably should just get rid of the fighter. Because... Yeah, it's not really got a use for me. Let's see if we can find another building. Maybe I should have farmed for another one. Because the other thing is, should I not just farm for an exotic? As I say, as soon as I start installing... installing oh, look. I wonder if this is the same one. It is the same one. There's my ship. <laughs> I randomly flew in a circle back to this. That is that kind of cool. Maybe that's me. Maybe I should wait for the exotic to land. Because I really... The real problem is... Well, it's not a problem, but I mean, the real fact of the matter is, as soon as I start installing X-Class modules, that commits me to that ship. Because it's fair enough to upgrade one ship with X-Class modules, but upgrading multiple ships is just not going to happen for like a long, long time. So whatever ship I go with, I want it to be one that can be my main ship. Hmm. So maybe I should wait until I get the exotic. And at the moment, moment it doesn't matter because I don't actually have any ship upgrades anyway. Hey Ming. Hmm. I much prefer the aesthetic of this fighter on the ground, but when you're flying it, it didn't feel that good. Welcome back, Ming. Go on, show me the exotic. At least let me see what it looked like. I wasn't going to come back here, but even I randomly found it. I might as well wait for another ship to land. What happens if the fighter lands as an S-Class? Maybe that makes the decision for me. Father of the Sun, A-Class. I could totally buy these and scrap these and get nanites. Hmm. Wait, what? Is that? Nope, that's the B-Class. Dang it. Isn't it funny? I walked to a cave and then I found the S-Class. Maybe I should 
Do that again. I still want to find the cave critter after all. It'd be cool if I found the cave critter straight away, because then I will do the zoology here. The only problem is that I'm slightly worried I go too far away from the fade platform. It takes me a bit, bit of time to get back up onto it. Let's have a quick peek. Not saying any cave critters. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm committed to doing the zoology on this planet now. I found the hard creature. It'd be so annoying if I see a ship flying away and it's an S-Class. That's the problem with trying to multitask. But there's my ship that I got as an S-Class. The Explorer. Wouldn't it be funny if another S-Class Explorer exactly identical landed? <laughs> but I have to buy two of them. It's B-Class. Thank you for not giving me that dilemma. Do I wait for the exotic? Because I could be here forever. Maybe I should just wait until I find a random exotic. I mean, at the moment, I don't even have any upgrades anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I could just fly in my new S-Class Explorer. Have it as my current main. Until we find an exotic. Is that a plan? And rather than farming an exotic, I just wait till I find one naturally. Because it will happen eventually. I mean, I already found two, I just couldn't afford to buy them. Kind of annoying, because they were both 20 slot ones. They were both good ones. To be honest, I'd rather find the exotic just that's not got the big wings on it. I, but I guess that's too picky. Right, I have, a, I have a mind to leave. Oh, look at this hauler. Can I afford you? Six million. I quite like that one. If that was a better class, I might take it. I've got a couple of ships now, at least for some extra storage. A little bit of extra storage. I'll wait for one more round of ships to land. And if there's nothing good, I think we'll go. So, I think, how I'll do it, for now, I'll use the Explorer as my main, which means bye-bye for this one. I will hold off upgrading it to some degree. Actually, let me just summon it and I might as well install what I can install. Why can't I summon it? I cannot land here. This is annoying. Why can I not summon my explorer? B e class, C class, A class, none of these. I need to try and summon my explorer. There we go. Right, so. The only things I can install are rockets, which I better do because it's the only weapon I've got. And the. And I could try and install this. I, I need to go collect this stuff. I don't have any of this stuff. That's something I should work on as well. Microprocessor wiring looms. So I need to get that. And I might as well move some of this stuff to the tech slots. Launch and let's move. It's the pulse engine, uh, hyperdrive. Doesn't really matter, does it? Rocket launcher, there we go. Right, so microprocessor wiring looms. I'm sure I might be able to buy that here. It's amazing that. I've made it this long and I still don't have a single ship upgrade. Do 
you sell oh, microprocessors and get five of those. Just the wiring looms. I thought I was holding wiring looms. Obviously not. I have to go to the space station for those. Right, so did we go? I was going to try and wait for the exotic, but it doesn't want to show itself. Wait. Oh my god. Nope. It's B class. If it was S class, I would totally buy it. But, no. Right, I think we'll go, shall we? My new S class explorer. Let me go and get some wiring looms to finish upgrading this. How's it feel like to shoot? It's okay. Alright, so where's the space station? That's over the other side of the planet. Right, so what we really need is to find an NPC so I could actually get some bloody upgrades. We need to go walking around on planets, really. Right, wiring loom. I never have them on me for some reason. We just buy a few of them so we have a supply for these kind of situations. Right. So basically that's as upgraded as I can do it. Do I start installing these things? Hmm. I think it's still too early. Well, I should probably go and start trying to get some cadmium and emerald. Do that another time. We can work on that next time we're here. Right, so my S-Class ship. Let's go back to that planet. Find some of the buildings. See if we can finish the zoology off. Go to the light side. Now, I, I, need, I still need to be careful, because this ship is rather fragile still. I don't have any upgrades. I really need to find an NPC. We've got so many nanites now. 7,000 nanites. That's like, I could probably buy almost every single upgrade he, he has. Maybe not right, but still. Right, let's see what we can find. What is that? Just a save point by itself. Brilliant. Alright, so let's try this little ley line trick again. So look, we've got some plants here. If I try and find some of the plants and fly in that direction, can I see any? Can't see any. There's some there. So let's say this is the ley line, and let's see if we can find a building along this path. I'm not sure if I like this ship, the view that we get. Maybe it's better to fly it in first person. Mm. I don't know. But there's a building. There's another building. Useless buildings. Maybe this is working. There's the flowers. There's another building. It's an abandoned building. I don't need that. There's another bloody... We've got three of these buildings in a row. Oh, look. There's loads of buildings. This is good. Wait, what's that? Nothing. Uh, this is a good direction. We're getting buildings galore. Does it matter what buildings they are? Do they... Can I, can I get drop pods this way? Have I gone slightly off course? Because... Buildings now are over here. <gasps> we got an ancient building. I'll totally go there. Oh my goodness me. I've got a load of things to hand in. 
Ooh, I need to pop to my storage base. Now I can. Now I've got some extra ships. I can use some of my ships to carry my trade items. Let me build a base here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Mistake. Ooh, and maybe the exotic would land here whilst we're faffing about. Let me go build a base next to one of the landing pads. Ooh. Let me be careful, my jetpack's not that good. S class? Nope. Ah, oh, it feels good to have a bit of money. Right, let me build a base right up here, shall I? Build a little teleporter here. Go get my archive items to hand in. We can at least upgrade them. Do I sell them now? Like, I don't even need to sell them for money. I could do my classic upgrade them and find some funny things. Let me build a teleporter. And a power. Nope, that's what I want. power. This cheaper one. I can afford this one. Power this bad boy up. Cheap as possible. And go visit my storage. The ley lines are parallel to each other and tend to have similar category of buildings on them. Parallel to each other. How do you work out which lay, which parallel one you're on? Storage. Will it let me go directly to the storage? It will. Good. Right, let's go pick up my items. Now, Pitch told me something the other day. Didn't he say that Gex Systems... What do you hand in to Gex Systems? He said, basically, it's the race that determines what you hand in. So I think we're in a GEC system. I'm not sure what it is. I'll take everything on me. I'm going to put stuff on my other sh ship. Ah, oh, it's good to have extra storage capacity on my persons. Right. I don't have that many. I think I've got three or four, maybe. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Let's have a look. Oh crap, I didn't name that base. I need to do that when I get back there. Right, what did I want? I wanted... Is it these things in here? Oh god, I've only got two. I thought I had more. Did I sell them? Ah, oh, dang it. I thought I had more than that. Oh well. Unearth Treasures Gek. But don't they normally have like three different things? Do I have an unearthed treasure? Unearthed treasure, Gek. Perfect, this one. Right, let's go back. Oh. Is this the tele. I always forget which is the teleport. Where is the teleport? There it is. Right, so I need to go to the most recent base. I don't know the name of it. Uh, why does it not do recent bases? Oh god. Is it this one? Oh, this is annoying. Doesn't it normally... Oh, my base. I presume it's this one, the last one in the list then. Let's try. Hopefully this is right. Caroline says, so basically turn right off your ley line. Why are they called ley lines, by the way? Is that a proper term, geographical term or something. Then fly till you hit either flora or building and turn left again. Hmm. So you may be basically mean at a complete right angle. Is that right? At a corner basically. So instead of going north south you go east west. Is that what you mean? Basically turn right off the line and find until you hit either of the oh. I have to try that sometime. 
Right, we're back here. Let's see if we can hand it in. So apparently we should be able to hand in the unearthed treasure. It's got lost artifact and biological sample as well. So how does that work? This is just the first one that is. Let's do it. Wait, I can hand in two things. How is that? Okay. Were they both unearthed treasures? Irresistible diamonds. We've got a handful of pugnant ooze. Doesn't feel like much of an upgrade really, does it? Now I've used that one, so let me go use the lower one as well. So what am I going to do with these then? Because initially I thought I was going to need to use them for money, but really it's not a money thing anymore. What do I want to do with it? Will I be able to get a legendary one? Maybe I keep all the legendary ones. Oh, I didn't get one. I got a fossil sample. Is that really an upgrade? So it was about 700,000. Downgraded it. That's not an upgrade. It's like worth half, half a zill. Oh well. So we've now got ooze and this instead. Right, so let me decide. Which ship am I going to use for storage now? I guess I use this ship for storage. For treasures. For, for the time being at least. Why can't I summon it? I cannot land here. Really? Because I'm underneath this building. I cannot land here? Come on. There we go. You take that fossil one to a Viking. Okay, interesting. But right, so now, they're all going to stay in the starship. The starship's going to carry my treasures. So whenever we find an ancient building... Oh, that reminds me. I need to go label this one. So I can put this as a Gek archive, isn't it? Oh, that's interesting. So now I can have a Gek archive, a Viking archive, and a Corvax archive. And always use those. Very good. Gek archive. Very good. So now whenever I get unearthed treasures, I can bring them here. And do we get an S-class ship? There's my S-class ship. Isn't it funny that it doesn't put them on the landing pads? Kind of annoying, really, but hey-ho. I still wouldn't mind getting the exotic if we've managed to find one. All right, let me keep flying then. This ley line thing was working really well, but now I don't know which direction to fly. Ooh, that fighter I would buy if it was an S-class. Nope. C class, dang it. Not so sure about a shuttle. Right, let's keep flying. So, how on earth do I work out which direction now? So, I guess well, there's another building. Hmm. Ship's going in that direction. There's plants, so can I see other plants? There's other plants, so let's say this is the direction. I'm not seeing buildings. Hmm. This one's not working so well. <laughs> I was getting built. Oh, there's a building. Manufacturing facility. Do I? I suppose I keep getting recipes, don't I? Oh god, it feels like I can't aim with this ship either. Really hard to aim. I think I need to do it in the other view. That's a bit better. There we go. Alright, let's try and get a recipe then. still have a couple more creatures to find on this planet as well. Uh, that's another thing that's really important. We need to get a better multi-tool. 
A multi tool that's worth to upgrade. Right, will I get a recipe? Let's learn a recipe. So I think I came to the conclusion I don't really want any of this, so I guess we keep learning the products. Ooh, portable reactor. Liquid explosive plus fusion accelerant. Oh, I don't have any of that stuff, do I? I guess I need to unlock this one. And I guess glass is useful. How much is glass even worth? Whatever. That will do. Grab the nanites. Right, do I go on foot for a bit and see if we can find these creatures? It's a bit dark at the moment, doesn't it? Ooh, are you the creature? Oh, you're one of the creatures. Brilliant. Is it just one creature left? It is just one. It's a rare ground. I guess I stay on foot then. Not you, is it? No. It's another thing is I could still get another pet. Where is one of my pets, actually? Let's have a pet out, do we? I've got three robots. That's what I got first of all. How do I do this? This one, isn't it? Oh god, I pressed the wrong one again. Have this guy out. A little colourful guy I found. That reminds me, I need to make more creature pellets. Now I'm out of carbon again. Brilliant. So how are you to ride? We go for a little ride on him. A bit wibbly wobbly, isn't he? A bit slow as well, I have to say. Right, get that. Oh look, damage machinery. Grab that. Need all the salvage data we can possibly find. Oh, my jetpack feels so much better now. I'm beginning to start to feel a little bit powerful, even though I don't even have that many upgrades. I, I don't feel too worried about dying. I think the extreme weather is still the one that's a bit challenging. Right, down and to the left. There it is. Right, so one more rare creature. Been quite a good planet for us, really. Ooh, there's a creature. Where's he go? There was a tiny creature. I think I've got that one. Oh well. Ooh, cooking. I've got the nutrient processor now. Maybe I should start collecting the ingredients. We've got some ships. I was going to try and unlock the Colossus as well. We could use it for ingredient storage. I might start collecting this stuff now. Kind of got room. I say that, we don't have room. <laughs> but I'm very close. How many do I... I think I'll actually unlock the Colossus. Oh, we'll do that as well. So let me try and find this last creature and then we can unlock the Colossus and then... I can start collecting nutrients and eventually we'll craft some items for some nanites. Every time I see a ship I'm thinking please be an NPC. What's your favourite life form in the sky? Corvax, Viking or Gek? I guess it's Corvax because I'm always Corvax. But yeah, I don't mind too much. What's your favourite? Pitch lights, Viking. Right, what are we doing? I have semi looking for. Let me just double check. Is it? It's not a diurnal creature, is it? Always active, so we should be able to find it. I wouldn't. I, I do quite like completing Huddler Zoology. 
feels kind of achievement. Oh, my pet just distracted me then. I thought that was that was it. Take this condensed carbon. Why not? Actually, I might refine some condensed carbon because we need carbon at the moment, don't we? Put this in here. Start it refining as we chug along. I should probably start collecting dihydrogen as well for eventually when we get a freighter and frigates. Something I could passively collect and then store for the time being. Eventually I'm going to need loads of it. Hmm. Not seeing this last creature there, are we? For a long time I used to destroy moon frigates because I did not know no Man's sky, but I like Corvax. Okay. You like Corvax as well, do you? Right, which direction should we go? You know what I love most? It doesn't happen very often, but when you randomly like this, like if I were to randomly stumble across either a glyph or a crashed ship, how cool would that be? Just walking around on foot. But there's a building over there. It's not a building I've already been to, is it? Go check it out. I do like walking around planets and just discovering stuff, but it is very slow. Do you reckon that's just two buildings, or do you reckon that's an outpost? Ooh, are you the missing creature? <gasps> I got the missing creature! Brilliant! We've done the zoology! Yes! I should get more achievements. I get I get so happy to do a zoology huddless like this. Another zoology complete. How many is that now? Have a look. Planetary zoology. Twelve planets we've completed. That is insane. Hudless. Not bad at all. We were going to start giving some kind of unique name for complete zoology. I wonder if I need to do it for every single planet or just for a complete system. It's so rare for me to do a complete system. You'd have to go to every single planet. Let's check out this building. I guess I, I, I'm kind of done with this planet for now. So what are we going to do? We're going to go to the Nexus and get my Colossus unlocked for storage. Let's do that. I'll grab this before we go. And then down and to the left. Down and to the left. Come on, where are you? There you are. Very good. More salvage data. I guess whilst I'm here, I should really go inside and grab the nanites as well. Oh, wrong ship. Wait, where's my other ship? Oh, this one. There we go. Nanites? No, oh, standing. Other one. I feel like now is the time where I've finally got enough extra ships and things and storage that I can start just collecting stuff and eventually just store it all until what, when I need it. Right, let's go to the Nexus and unlock the Colossus. And then I can start collecting cooking ingredients. And we're going to make tons of nanites, and then we'll buy every single X-Class module we could possibly find. Every time I'll just buy every single one from the NPC and we'll have a lottery of whether or not we can find an upgrade. Hmm. Kind of full at the moment, aren't we? Let's put this... Oh look, look at all these crystal fragments. It's quite nice. Get this dihydrogen. 
Somehow I've ended up with extra antimatter. I guess I can make some warp cells out of that. What do I need? I need the antimatter housing, don't I? I wonder how many I can make. Right, load of warp cells, very good. I should start collecting milk now, that is true. I need a better supply of carbon. I need to find a planet where we can easily get carbon. I need to look for those lushes. Because until I've got an easy supply of carbon, feature pellets are a bit of a, they're rather expensive, aren't they? Right, let me unlock my Colossus. And we're gonna use that to store cooking ingredients for the time being. Which one was it? Uh, we've got 21 salvage data. Brilliant. Right. Colossus is unlocked. What else can I unlock? Nomad? Do I need the Nomad? What's the point of this summoning station now? Kind of pricey because I'd have to carry unstable plasma. I suppose I only need one set. How does this work? I, if I build one of these on a planet... Does that mean I can summon my sub and my... That means I can summon everything, doesn't it? Is that how it works? I've got enough for it. I'll try it out. It means I need to go get some unstable plasma. And I'll have to carry it at all times. Kind of annoying, but... Right, one salvage data. Well, let me just spend that on something. Right box. Why not? Right, good. Let me see if it's if the featured bases have sorted themselves out yet or if they're still busted. No, I still can't access them. That is just bizarre. Right, let's go back to that system. I might go check out another planet there. We've completed zoology on one of them, so maybe it's a system we should try and do the zoology on every single planet. I didn't even notice how many planets there were. We seem to be making so much progress. I've got my first S-Class ship. We've unlocked the Colossus. I need to go get some unstable plasma. We'll need one more crystal sulfide for the submarine. Right, let's go check out I'm still in one of Firebricks' systems as well. Maybe I shouldn't be. I have to have this... The thing is, do, do I need it just built in the universe or do I need it built in the system? That is the thing. If, if I need it built in this... Right. Hmm. Let's have a quick look. What, what, what planets are in this system? I feel a bit weird because I'm in Firebricks' system. Maybe I shouldn't stay here. Let me go to a new system. Let me try and find a system that's not been explored. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Dang it. I just built all those hyperdrive things and then I didn't... Oh god, it's here. That's why. Right. We don't have very good hyperdrive range. Maybe I should build the... Uh... Maybe I should start working on the hyperdrive things, but... Ah, not yet. That could be another session. A random system. Perhaps I should stick to two planet systems to make doing the full system zoology feasible. <laughs> Ooh, perhaps I'm due another freighter battle as well, actually. That would be a huge upgrade to get a freighter all of a sudden. That's the kind of one big storage. Look, oh, there we go. We should speak about it. Speak of the devil. So I kind of said I'll do every single freighter battle, but only once. I won't farm it. But maybe I won't accept the freighter until we get one we either really like or... Right, so let's work out how good this ship is. Oh, look, we've got a bisected space station. That's kind of cool. Right, so do I just wait to be attacked? I can't even see the pirates. Hmm. bit tricky actually. There we go. Where are you bastards? 
I got him. Point blank. Can I get you as well? It doesn't recharge. It takes forever to recharge. Let's try this. <laughs> two rockets, two hits. Perfect. Right, I wonder how many ships there are here. Oh, I should double check. Yeah, I've definitely got sodium. Line up my rockets. Oh, I missed completely. That wasn't very good. Let me try that. I need to get good at shooting rockets. Line up, you bastards. Got him. Oh, it feels so satisfying in Hudless to line up a rocket and actually hit him. <laughs> Is there another guy? Ah, I can't see them. If I put it in this view, can I see them then? Hmm. One of these... Oh, look, there's a ship. Oh, my God. Whoa, he just hit me. I don't like this view. It's, I find it difficult to... Right, so where are they? God, these battles do take so long. Look, there's a guy. Did I get him? I got him. And his buddy. Where's his buddy? There's one. Got him. Can we get you as well. Reload, reload, reload. I got him. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. Who thought Hudless rocket launch? Oh, I hit him and he's not dead. Dang it. Oh, crap. I missed. Oh, it's a bit difficult. I need to work out how to aim with this ship a bit, 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 bit more accurately. Got him. Ah, that's so satisfying. Do you reckon I've done it? How many have I shot down? I feel like I've shot down loads. Can I speak to him? I can't, I can't speak to him still. So I guess I've not done it yet. It doesn't look like a big freighter really, does it? Can I see who he's shooting? Oh, look, there he is. Two of them. Bastards. So far away. Got him. Oh, I'm having to concentrate to line the shot up. It's kind of fun, actually. Tell you what, I've never had so much fun doing battles, space battles. Normally, it's just boring. But Hudless, it's actually kind of interesting a little bit. I'm in this haze of stuff. Oh, God. Stay here, you bastard. God, he's dodging me. Basin. Oh, there's another one. I got this guy. How many? Are, how many am I killing? It feels like I've been doing this forever. Got him again. God, these rockets are so good. I love these rockets. Actually, I never normally use the rockets. I'm sure there was a rocket upgrade I could get. I'm gonna have to buy the rocket upgrade. I think it makes it so it reloads a bit quicker. Surely I must have done it now. Still not hearing... No, there's another one. There's another two of them. What the hell? Or is it just this one? I'm worried about the freighter there. I don't want to... No, there's definitely two. Got him. This must be the last one, surely. But I can't see a thing. This planetary ring is... Oh my god, I'm... Keep my shield topped up. Where are you, you bastard? He's shooting at me. Shooting behind me. There he is. I've got you now. Easy game. Oh, don't tell me I didn't kill him. I hit him. I hit him point blank. Bastard, he survived. There we go. Like, surely the battle is done now. Surely. Like, how many have I killed? I felt like I've killed like 12 of them. Why is there new freighters warping in? I still am not getting a message. What the hell? Is this the freighter? Can I get inside it? I 
can't even see where the entrance is. If it is, if there is, oh, there, there's the entrance. Right. What are we going to do though? Like, I, I really need to. These battles take forever. I don't know if I could wait around for the S class. Maybe I just have to accept it. Maybe I accept it and then eventually make enough money from Lava. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. What class is it? It's a C class, 28. Do I accept it? What do you guys reckon? It's the worst of the worst. I won't want to upgrade it at all, and I'd have to buy my own freight. Oh, do I? C class. Should I wait at least for an A class? I suppose I'll wait. I'll wait. I don't. I want. I don't want a C class. You can't upgrade classes on freighters, can you? It's so weird with this lighting here because of the planetary rings. Let's go check out the space station. It was kind of cool doing that battle though in Hudless. It, I, I'm loving these rockets. Yeah. I don't know if I can wait around for an S class because look how long that battle took. That battle took like almost half an hour. <laughs> Because it's so tricky and hudless to see where the ships are and stuff. Because my plan initially had been, I'll just keep ignoring it. Then every time I get offered a freighter battle, I'll fight it. And then I won't actually collect my free freighter until I get the S-Class. But that could take me years. You basically need to do 50 to 100 battles to get an S-Class. And I have to wait a number of days before I get another battle. So I'd have to wait. So if on average, let's say, let's say two days, you have to wait. And then you have to do that 50 times. We're talking like 100 days of play before I might get my S class, if I'm unlucky. <laughs> and that's if I take every single battle. Right, have I been in this space station? I haven't. This is the one with the... That reminds me, I really need a multi-tool. I need to get a good multi-tool. Because I can't buy the, the upgrades for a multi-tool. It's weird having this lighting here, isn't it? You like the Viking. You think they're the most trustworthy race. Wow. That's kind of interesting. Get my suit slot. Hmm. Right, so we need some unstable plasma. I wonder if we can buy any here for that summoning station. And I need some tritium for it as well. There it is. So I needed four of them. I'll just keep a stack. So I should just be able to buy it, build it once, and then I'll take a bit more fuel as well. Put that on the ship. To be honest, I might as well just... Oh, God. Should get it all really. What else did I say? I, I need tritium really. Has to build that summoning station. Ah, pathetic interloper. <laughs> I don't. I've tried to be a Viking on a few occasions. I, I just don't enjoy it for some reason. I don't know why. Why do you think they're the most trustworthy? What did I say? I need tritium. There isn't any tritium. Is there anything else I need? What do we got? Ferret dust by the looks of it. Let's buy some ferret dust as well. Oh god, let me in. Buy ferret dust. Buy a big stack of that. Save 500 on the money. We need more sodium. Let's put that in a high capacity. No, I've got sodium here. Look. So what have we got here? Let's get rid of this little bit of carbon and put the sodium there instead. So we need carbon desperately, but that will have to wait. Oh, oxygen. Am I really out of oxygen? Oh my god. Out of oxygen. Top up on oxygen.
Right, that's topped up. Hmm. Still the tritium. I need tritium. Dang it. Is there anything else I need? I'm missing a little bit of copper here. Hmm. Not really. Oof. What did I need to go to the Nexus for? There was something I wanted to do in the Nexus, wasn't there? Oh, I need to get my suit slot. But there was something else. What else did I want to do in the Nexus? I need tritium. That's my ship. The other thing is, if I see an exotic, I'll probably buy the exotic. Because at the moment, I'm not committed to this being my main ship until I start installing upgrades into it. Oh, I wanted to get the rocket upgrade. That's what I wanted to do. We'll pop to the Nexus. Let's go to the Nexus. I still didn't get the bloody tritium. Do I have any here? God, I didn't get tritium. I want to be able to build that summoning station and just see how it works for us. Let's go to the Nexus. So I want the rocket upgrade and I want my suit slot. I'm carrying way too much stuff at the moment. But just get this topped up. Put these, organize these ones. There we go. This stuff we're going to have to work out putting the cooking and ingredients. So I'm going to have to always carry this. Well, unless. Hmm. Once I get that other summoning station, maybe I won't need to build the individual submarine interesting to find out it's going to be a bit weird having all these vehicles the motorbike and the submarine or whatever without having upgrades for them hmm I suppose I'm using them for their utility though really right so where will the rocket upgrade be I guess that's let me just double check there's definitely nothing else I can get from from this guy So, Humboldt Drive, Submarine Analysis. There's no point having this, is there? Because I'm not going to see what it shows me. Do I need weapons in the submarine? It's not something I normally use. I guess this fuel usage thing might be useful. I don't need it yet, though. I've not got the Minotaur, so forget about that. What's this thing? That's for the Minotaur as well. Do I want to mine with the Exocrat? It's not really my kind of thing. I don't think so. Solar Recharge. Is that useful? I mean, I can just charge it manually, isn't it? This doesn't help that much. I just don't feel much of that is useful. What about you? That's the multi-tool. I don't need the multi-tool. I need the ship one. So I want that other rocket upgrade. I kind of enjoy using that rocket. Is there any other rocket upgrades you get? Or is this it? Oh god, it needs the unstable plasma. No. I can actually build it. I might as well do it. Where can I put it? Ugh. Well, let's move this back here. Let's build it here. Heat recovery. So it makes it so I can use it more often. I'll do that. Quite enjoyed that. Let me get my suit slot as well. And just whilst we're here, we might as well just double check. Is there anything else that I can unlock here that I need? So, ooh, I can start doing this now. I can afford this now. Yeah, I'll get that. Makes my pulse engine better. I'll get the the other one. These are really expensive, but we got enough nanites for the time being. Although I don't know if I'll build it yet. I think I'll wait until I decide 
which is my ship of ships. That's the only upgrade. No upgrade modules either. Okay, fair enough. Right, what else? Do I need a conflict scanner? Not really. Emergency warp? Nah, not really. Efficient thrusters. I want that. What's this one? Launch system recharger. How useful is this thing? I think I'm going to get it. How, long, how useful is the recharger? Will it save me from not having my guy, guy charged up? It's kind of expensive. Whatever, I'm going to try it. I don't know if I'll build it yet. I'll, I'll wait until I've decided my final, final ship. What's this? It's only 85. I'll get it. Another shield. I don't know if that's worth it though. 7% doesn't sound very much really. Photon cannon? It's another cheap one. I'll get it. I don't know if it's worth installing though, because it, it takes up space, doesn't it? Right. We potentially could use the phase beam. I think I'm going to wait on these weapons until we work out what N X class modules we get. So I think that's everything. God, we spent a load of nanites. Back down to 5,000. Hey ho. Right. I feel like I am making reasonable progress though, I have to say. I almost feel like this is basically undestructible now. I'm beginning to feel this is totally a main save viability. And it's kind of amazing. We've done everything in HUDless, only using X-Class modules, which we don't even have that many of. We've got a few of them. And we've totally managed to do it. It's a lot slower paced, but it's totally viable. Ah, there's the freighter. Right, so what kind of planets are in this system then? Wait, what? Oh god, I found another one of his fire bricks. He's my nemesis. How do I get away from here? I don't want to keep going to systems he's already explored. I'm going to walk to another one then. Is it po uh, it, it seems like he's explored every single frigging system. Let's go here. I wish it would tell me here that it's already been explored. Why, why does it not tell me until I actually walk there? The recharger is helpful if you forget to charge before you go off exploring. That's something I do all the time. Oh man. Right. Please be a system that has been unexplored so I can enjoy it myself. Oh, that looks in interesting. Right, so let's have a quick look. Discover today by me. So hopefully that it's all unexplored. Let me go get my suit slots whilst I'm thinking about it. Check out the space station. And I think I'm going to go to that planet right in front of me. That looks like kind of a pretty planet. So how am I liking my Explorer? I'm not sure if I want to make it my ship of ships. I think maybe I'll, I'll hold out. Well, it depends. It depends, I suppose, when we find an NPC to get some X-Class modules. I think I really fancy a nice exotic. The problem is I really want one of those minimalist exotics. Or well, maybe a squid. I never had a squid before. It's unlikely I'll find a squid though, is it? I've still not found a good multi tool. Right, let me grab my suit slot. Slowly getting there with a the suit capacity, aren't we? I'll just double check. I needed more. I need to buy the unstable plasma again, don't I? 
It's kind of annoying. I should have brought it in the other shop. Oh, and Sable Plows a minute. Let's buy more of those. Anything else? Pyrite. I need pyrite. Let's put that on the ship. That will keep my pulse engines going for a bit. I wonder if we should build any of those other upgrades here. How difficult are they to build? I really don't have anything. So there's a problem with this ship. It's still tiny, really, isn't it? I don't know that I want to do it yet. I'll hold off for now. I, I think I still want to wait until I get... The thing is, if, if, even if I get the exotic, it's still a tiny ship. Hmm. But I could work on making it bigger, I guess. I'll wait until I decide if... If this is my ship of ships. Wouldn't it be funny if this was the, the squid just sitting sitting here? Right, what else do I want? Let's check the other shop. Oh, I guess... Oh, I wanted Tritium as well, didn't I? Let's see if he's got any. Nope. Copper. Did I need copper? Buy some nanotubules. I keep using those up. Right, let me just buy a little bit, just in case. And let me top up on a little bit of this. I think I need a bit more. Have a look. Was I right? I nice cobalt. Didn't need that much. Copper? <laughs> Didn't need that much. Oh well. Right. Tritium. Let's see if the shop's got tritium. Tritium. There we go. Take a little bit of that. I don't need very much. It was just to build that summoning station thing in Bajiggy. So, I've actually got too many of these now. Oh well. Right, let's go explore that planet. It's kind of a nice looking planet. Let's hope it's suitable. I've got no idea what it is. What would you guess? be a hot planet radioactive maybe it's kind of a bright color to it look at this we got a nice little lake look at this a canyon wow I like that it's a hot planet isn't it oh this looks amazing look at this we got a whole river that is a great looking river Wow. This is like a place that you could actually build an aesthetic base. All right, what's the weather like? Sunny, sunny weather. Good. Do I put a base here? Why is it not scanning? There we go. Looks like it might be a bird, bird and fish planet by the looks of this. So many birds in the sky. Oh my god, I've already got three birds. Bird and fish planet. Let's grab these nanites. And let's dig for my salvage data. Down and to the left. Oh look, water underneath. There we go. So is it just fish left? Now there's another flyer. There's two other flyers. Wow, two other flyers and two fish. Interesting. Oh, I hope it's not a crab. That was scrap of the zoology. I reckon there might be butterflies, you know. I like this planet. Do I want a base here? That is the question. <gasps> Look at these guys. Wow. 
That's three of the same ship. And there's three of the exact same fighter. That is so cool. Can I take a picture of that? They're a bit far away. I think there are three. How often do you see that? Three of the exact same ship flying. It's too far away to make out, really. I like this little lake, though. I'm not really much of a base builder. That's the problem. I seem to be putting bases down mainly for utility at the moment. Let's have a quick look to see if we can see. I need one more crystal sulfide. Not any here. I need to be careful because I don't have any underwater protection. That reminds me. Should I try and build that summoning station then? Can I actually build it yet? Right, I'm missing something. So what the hell am I missing? Let's have a look in the catalogue. Uh, summoning station, this one. Uranium. Oh, crap, it's on my ship. I'm going to have to keep uranium on me. I just summoned my wrong ship, but that's okay. I've got... Right, let's put this on my persons. Why can't I build it now? There it is. So I think it will only let me summon my Pilgrim for the time being, because I haven't built anything else. Can I summon my Pilgrim now? Huh? No! What? Why can I not summon my Pilgrim? Did I only build a... What? How does that work? These are really cool. They're, look at that, like purple. Take a picture of that. They like pink, and but that's a very colourful, isn't it? Kind of unusual. So why can I not summon my pilgrim now? Because I've built a pilgrim on a different system. Is it possible I built it in a different galaxy? God, I'll just build it here for now then. Right, so I've deleted it. I'm definitely summon it now. It kind of annoys me now. So uh, what is this thing doing? I need one crystal sulfide. There's a crystal sulfide. Let's go grab that. Right, so I think I should be able to build my submarine now as well. Let's see. Uh, oh, there we go. My first time of getting a submarine. So. Oh, wow. It's got a lot of space on that as well. Oh, God. I need the recipe for this. I don't think I've got the recipe for that yet. How do you get the recipe for fuel? No. Hydrothermal fuel. Do I have to do the bloody mission to get that recipe? I don't know. That is so annoying. I love my submarine. I might not be able to use it. There's no way I'm going to find an underwater marker because that's just not possible in Hudless. That's one thing that definitely won't be possible because I can't fly to it. So there's no way to lock onto it. Well, I could lock onto it, but I'd be floating above the ocean. Is there any other way to get the, the recipe? Maybe it's in the Nexus somewhere. There's not fuel in the Nexus though, is there? Oh, that's so annoying. Well, let me take this back because there's no point having this here. Right, so how do we get the fuel in Hudless? Hmm. I wonder if it triggered a mission for me. Nope. Anybody know how to get the fuel for the submarine? Hmm. I kind of like this planet.
Uh, fuel for submarine. I, my worry is that it's going to be locked to that initial submarine mission, which means finding an underground building, an underwater building, which they normally send you to with a marker, but it's just going to be... Is that a random base? No way. All right, I'm claiming it. I just found a random base. I was thinking about making a base on this planet. This seals the deal. <laughs> and it's right by this river as well. I would call it river base. Look at that river. That is so cool. I found a random base in Hudless. On the planet I was debating about. Random river base. How cool is that? <laughs> really cool. Oh, well, I should take that summoning station. I, I, I don't want to. I need the resources back. Oh, wrong weapon. Down and to the left. Down and to the left. I wonder if it's going to be underwater. That would be kind of hilarious. No, there it is. But I can't reach it. There we go. Oh, man. It's kind of bumming me out that I don't have access to the, the fuel for the submarine. Submarine is something I'm really used to using when I play. Isn't the subfuel recipe at the manufacturing? Ooh, I don't know, but we'll find out. Might as well take this ship, given I've got it here. What if we can find a manufacturing facility? If it is, I'm totally researching it. But good shout. So I've got plants here. Plants, I like this planet. Look at all these river canyons. This is awesome. Right, so will we get buildings along this plants pattern? Not seeing any. Hmm. Meteors crashing down. All plants. So does that mean there's not many buildings on this planet if I'm not seeing it? Oh look, the plants are lining up in this direction now. Let me try going in this direction then. Oh no, and there's plants in this direction. How do you know where to go? Plants all over the place. <laughs> Flying from plant to plant, but no building. This technique is not working on this planet. That might be outdated. Oh, I can, I can, can but try. Right, we're not seeing a single building. A bit disappointing. This planet is so nice, I would love there to be buildings. Nevertheless, it's coming to the time that I think I need to be finishing up. I need to have a little bit of a nap before I go to work. So I think I'm going to leave this till next time. We'll hunt for manufacturing facilities to try and get fuel for my submarine. There's plants everywhere, but I'm not seeing any buildings. It's kind of annoying. You never use the sub. You don't even have one on your main perma safe. I like to do it to find the underwater fish and stuff. I would be disappointed if I didn't have the sub. They're so no, they will be either side but in general direction. Hmm. I've not seen a single building. It's 
There's got to be some buildings on this planet. It's also a really nice planet. I particularly like the water river canyons. Come on, let me find a building just to land at, at least. There's a building, but that's not much of a building, is it? Although the terrain is awesome here. Look, there's a building. Crappy building that I don't need. But I'm going to park here. Set a save down. And I think next time we come... I'm going to be working, so I don't know when I'll next play. I might have time tomorrow. I don't know. But next time, I think we need to find a way to fuel our submarine. And now summon my this guy. I also need to work out if if this summoning station will work every time I build it on all the planets. Because if it doesn't, it's pointless to me. But for now, I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a good one. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Oh God.